Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. What is up? Hello Hunter, Master Sword, what's up man? Jiddy, hello. Poncho, hello. Christian, what's up man? Sin, hello. One second. How is everyone's Monday today? Let's see, okay, that's all good. Welcome everyone, welcome. How's everyone's weekend? Did you guys have a fun time? What is up? Hello, E. How goes it, man? Um, what are we? Today we're doing a strength invasion build, and it is at soul level 90. Uh, I actually realized the game was on sale recently, and the player base is friggin' massive right now. This is crazy. It's got like 17,000 players, so I expect we'll get constant invasions, at least at this level, I would think. So I figured 90 or like 60 are probably the best levels to be currently for the sale, just to get constant activity. Yeah, I got some red hilted halberds, I added the glaive. I added a few weapons to the strength build that I don't normally use. Trying out like the follower saber below, three main weapon types too. Just mixing up the menu a little bit today. Uh, Zweihander, and what else do we add? Great Lance, uh, Reinforced Club, we'll try We'll try them all out and see how we go. I wanted to start with the spear for some reason though. I was feeling a spear. Uh, I think it might, yeah, I think it's on sale. Well, ooh, it was on sale. I don't know if that sale ended as of Monday. It was like a Bandai sale. I think it may have ended <laughs> now that I say that. I didn't check though. It could still be going on. I just don't remember how long the sale was on for. Hey, what's up, Aether? How goes your day, man? Uh -huh, I think it might still be going. Sale is still going. Okay, okay. Nice. So yeah, you guys could pick it up on uh, Steam if you wanted it. Is it also on sale on PlayStation as well? Uh, it depends on the build for the Gundyr Halberd thing. I used to do that with the cat rings as well. Uh, but then I, I organized my menu to always have the cat ring in one spot that's like perfect for me. So I don't need it, but on my quality build, and I'm trying it out of my strength right now. So I can use a lot of different weapons and just get to my Gundyr Halberd whenever I need it for a wake up. And what is going on with my controller? <laughs> it's like pulling me left constantly. Not letting you walk. Hmm. Click on my screen, maybe. Okay, maybe it'll fix itself eventually. Uh, it ends today. Okay, so this might be the last day for the sale then. I thought it ended Sunday as well. So even a bigger bonus for us. Uh, Bandai has, I think, a yearly sale where all their games go on sale. Or seasonal? But Dark Souls 3 goes on sale all the time. So just keep an eye out for it. Favorite soul level, 90 or 133? 90 almost, but I, I lack the stamina that I love on my meta build. Hello, Gwen. Uh, versus, okay. <laughs> I'm getting fog all night, I? <laughs> uh, versus meta, I get like all the stamina that I wish. I mean, if I get fog walled, it's okay. I assume that's what's happening though. Wait, maybe the other way. Hmm. Yeah, normally I have gun gear right besides belief. Really? How did you get down there? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the elevator wars are always fun. Um <laughs> Let me think this through. Yeah. This will do. <laughs> Sorry, Gwen. <laughs> we uh we got off on the wrong foot apparently. Cha. I like your outfit though. It's very quaint. I feel like I used to wear something. What is that? A store? The Astora Bay sword. Oh no. What? What? <laughs> okay. See, then I'm just able to R2 down to Gundyr and... <laughs> Good backstab, though. But that's basically why I have so many of those. Cha! <laughs> Back to the straight sword. I'll fight you with Gundyrs to warm up. Oh my god, though. My controller is, like, stopping me from walking. Why? Like, look at this. 
it's so weird. It was happening to me a couple days ago, and I don't know what causes it. It's like input loss. I have no idea, honestly. I'm just gonna fight you like this then, since this is becoming quite a problem for me with the controller. I'm gonna have to switch it. But for now, I must kill you, straight sword lad. Roll into it. There we go. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh god, actually, this got a lot tighter than I thought it would. I got get you out of the way. Man, it stops me from running. Hang on. Just gotta open up Steam and see what's happening. This is the controller I use every day, though. This is so strange. I can unplug it and plug it. Maybe I need a new cable. <sighs> that could be it, actually. See that? Do you see the character, like, pulling to the left when I walk? It, like, fights me. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a dead zone. But I don't think it is, because it's not walking on its own. But, like, right there, like, I go to walk and it, like, pulls me left. Hmm. Hmm. I could go get the other cord and see. Check your PC for updates. Like, as in, like, Windows updates? I don't think that would cause that. No, there's no Windows update anyway. Maybe you broke your stick? Maybe. Uh, I'll do another invasion just to see. Some days it, like, happens on and off. Maybe your touchpad? No, I have that disabled, so I can't use it like the the mouse. It's really weird. You have the same issue? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. Let's see. Like, right, okay, wait. Now my controller's not even working. Did I unplug it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. If I plug you back in, would you please work? <laughs> now I gotta relaunch the game. Oh, I can't. <laughs> How do I? Oh, I gotta use the keyboard. <laughs> Fucking god. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I have to have my controller plugged in before I launch any Dark Souls game. And, I, yeah, I gotta. Hang on a second. I gotta relaunch the game really quick. <laughs> just Alt F4. No. <laughs> I'll Alt F4 in my own world. Okay, wait. One second. I'm just gonna grab a, a different chord chat. It'll be like two seconds. <laughs> Okay, this this should work. It, it should work, I say, but I don't know. <laughs> Great start, I know. Some days I am not blessed. Okay, well the controller works at least. Continue. Long socks or short socks? Ankle socks. I can appreciate the questions too. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Seems like it still sort of happens, but. Yeah, like, look at that. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Hang on. Let me just see if there's something else grabbing my controller right now. That's the only thing I could think of. I don't think so. Whatever. We'll just we'll just fucking suffer it. I just won't walk or run around. That, is that? Maybe I gotta order a new controller. Shit. I have the same problem. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, uh, when I'm running, it's not as noticeable. I find it's when I'm walking, but I, I guess I don't walk too much. 
I'll just roll more as movement today, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know, I'll turn off my mouse also. It is a wireless mouse. Oop. See if that may, it might help. I don't think it does, though. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, I'm not using the PS5 one either because the PS5 had stick drift pretty early. The PS4 ones have been good though, so. <laughs> so no walk. Yeah, we'll see. It's a challenge run given to me by my controller. I'll probably order a new controller today, actually. I want, I want a new wire as well. It's really disappointing that when you order a controller, it actually doesn't come with a, like a new wire. Okay, it seems okay sometimes. It's like very iffy. It's temperamental. Wait. You're not in the boss fight, are you? Hmm. Can you actually play Dark Souls 3 with a PS3 controller? Oh. <laughs> I totally didn't see you. Not at all. <laughs> you blend in well. <laughs> Yo, Butter Knight, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Alright, this is our first actual fight, I guess. Sir. <laughs> nice, we got a blue. That host is kind of lost, so we're just gonna leave him to his vices. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Hello, blue. Thank you, thank you. We're warming up here. Oh, wizard! That's why you didn't swing your sword. I was wondering. <laughs> oh, now you'll swing your sword, huh? Honest sword swings. You gotta help out your brother. He needs you. <laughs> that is the most timid blue I've ever seen. I love it. Whoa. I wasn't really looking at the screen right there. That makes a lot of sense though, because Rahani did not have the HP for the fight. Alright, neither did Plantex actually. Very fun fight, Plantex. And another blue. Aw, oh, that would have turned into a war. Kinda sad. I don't get a lot of invasions right here. There we go. Uh, I, I think I've heard some things, Kirkthorns, but not much. I didn't read into detail on it. I have heard of the the rumors of a Bloodborne 2, though. Is that what you're referring to, Velvet Veil? Vale? Like, like a, a sequel to it? <laughs> yeah, I know. I can look and see if I'm muted on my OBS just by grit lancing over. I'm not. If you ever have a, a thing where you don't hear like a streamer's voice though, you might want to turn down the resolution. I know it sounds weird, but if your download speed is struggling to watch a stream, sometimes it sacrifices the audio. I don't know why that happens, but I've seen it happen a lot. Ah, uh, it depends on what you want in the faith build, Austin. Like, like faith is in like lightning, lots of lightning miracles. You could, you'll be squishy though. Hey, well, welcome, Canudian Milk. <laughs> How are you? Uh, why have I abandoned 125? I haven't. I, I invade at 133 instead, because it invades down to 120, which is essentially the lowest that you would go for meta anyway. And then it hits all the players that go to the higher levels as well, above like 125. So it just, it gives me a, a bigger invasion range. Um, and then I invade at 90 as well, because 90 is super active. Gabir Amira, hello. Hey, what's up, Malik? How goes the day? Um, let's go maybe a Zweihander? Sure. <laughs> That's truly evil. 
Yeah, if you're 133, you'll invade up to, what is it, 165 or something like that? It's it's plus 20, plus 10% of your soul level, so... Yeah, you, you get a, a bigger upward range as well, which is very useful for activity. Hello, Gabir. Gabir of Mira. Use the rope fire bombs. Aww, that's not worth it. I see we're wanting a Claymore bout. I'm always down for the Baymore. Watch out for the random things that may destroy you though. The arrows are pretty strong. I always find this an odd spot for people to want to have like a fight. I feel like people drive finger here and want like a 1v1 a lot, but... Then you have the arrows <laughs> right behind there that could literally end you at any second. Very fun fight though. Uh, they, they, like, Watchdog got continued into something called Blue Sentinel. I, I don't know if it's exactly the same team, but, uh, the creator of Watchdog is the one who works on Blue Sentinel as well, so. Uh, if Elden Ring has, well, I mean, it's confirmed to have invasions, but, I mean, if the PvP is good, which I think it will be, personally, then, yeah, Elden Ring would probably be, like, everyone's new Souls game that they invade on. I'm super excited for it. I mean, the weapon animations look the same, the rolling, the movement. Everything about the trailer and the gameplay shown shows that it's like a Dark Souls sequel, so. How do you parry with the menu open? Uh, I don't. I parry and then I open the menu. But they're very, very simultaneous. Like, they're almost simultaneous, basically. It's like... I usually open the menu, hit X, hit square to disable my weapon, and then close the menu, then parry. So it's like, it looks like this. And then I reopen it to put the weapon that I want on to robust. If that makes sense. I know it seems very fast though, but it's just a sequence of inputs, that's all. Oh, a whole squad, let's go. Oh, but I think I'm gonna fall wall, aren't I? Yep, damn. Uh, yeah, I think it will, Shellman. Uh, it depends on if the jump gets like the iframes that the roll gets, because apparently it's gonna be used for dodging horizontal sweep, sweep boss attacks anyway. So, I'm not sure. We'll see how that goes. I mean, realistically though, if it doesn't change the hitbox too much on the jump for horizontal swings, it won't change it too much. It'll just give you, like, another dodge option for certain types of attacks. Or maybe it'll even be bad in PvP. Like, maybe you'll get clipped during the jump too much. Like, it's really hard to tell until you play it. Crazy. Hello, crazy. Um, what about a great lance? Let's mix it up. Uh, did I enjoy Secure? I did. I just didn't find it a game that I would continue playing constantly since it had no online aspect. And online is really what keeps me interested in a game. But that's just personal, right? So, if people loved it, they loved it. I thought it was good, well made, but just not as interesting because you don't have builds really. You don't have a lot of stats to invest into to make a whole bunch of different combat styles. It wasn't, I don't know, it's free as like Dark Souls is, which I find a little bit less interesting. I'm not sure if they're down by the bonfire or not. Uh, I actually didn't play Neo 2. It looked like a good Souls game though, like a Souls-like anyway. I just didn't really feel like playing it over Dark Souls 3 at the time. 
Will I get Elden Ring on PC or PS5? I'm probably gonna start it on PC, and then if it's like, uh, like rampant with cheaters right away, like some people think it will be, I kinda don't think it will be, but I've never played a Souls game on PC on launch. Like, I don't know how it is, like if it's super easy for them to cheat or not. So I'm not sure. Uh, if it is, then I would play on PlayStation, but I prefer PC overall just because my PC is much stronger than my PS5, so. I can like crank up the graphics, get everything perfect on it how I want, easy to record and stuff. Ryan, dude, that's fucking insane, man. I watch your content in the background while working from home. Love your positivity and content is amazing. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I do that as well, I'm not gonna lie. When I'm chilling and editing, I watch other streamers, so I totally relate. Mostly Dark Souls, because I like watching the. Right, I like watching first-time playthroughs too. Is that I weird? Watch your content in the I know some people who are like so well versed home. in a game don't love like watching people play that are new to it, but I love watching amazing. that. Keep up the good work. I find it so nice. Thank you so much, man. That's that's insane. That's actually so kind. <laughs> Especially since I'm lost. <laughs> I need a battle, but I can't find it. Where is this guy? Uh, so I have an i9, the 9700K series one, and then I have uh, an RTX 2080 for my graphics card. Um, boom, 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 boom. Dude, I actually don't know where this man is. Hmm. No, Jesus, Canudian. A fellow Canudian. That's insane too, bro. What the fuck? You know, you guys can donate without all those zeros behind it, right? That's insane. Uh, my Dex Faith or Dex Int? Hmm. Let's see. Out of those two, I would say Dex Int has some really cool weapons that I never really get to use. So I think it would be nice to use them. Like, you could make kind of like a... A small amount of strength for two-handing a lot of the weapons. Push the, the dexterity to around like 30 and then into like 40. I have input now and I need your dex slash by our dex slash And you'd get to use like free to scythe, you can use the aquamarine dagger, you can use the great sort of judgment, you can use... All, most crystal infused weapons will do insane with that setup. Uh, if you go the faith version, mm, it doesn't... there's not a lot of amazing dex faith weapons, just you would be able to, I don't know, maybe use buffs with the Dex Faith. So if you want like buffs, Dex Faith, if you want good weapon scaling and good damage for crits and stuff, I would say Dex Int is better. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave because I have no idea what this guy is. Literally the hider of the century. That's what I use. Actually, it depends on what level you want to be as well, Kanuian. If you want to be around like 125, then go like 26 strength. Uh, 30 dex, 40 int. It's very strong. Yeah, if you're gonna use some of the unique weapons, that, that setup that I just said is probably the best. If you're going like soul level 90, it, it's hard to do technically a dex int. You're mostly just gonna do like 40 int and have everything crystal infused. Yeah, if you're going 125, yeah, try, try 26 strength, 30 dex, uh, 40 int. Uh, most things will scale really well like that. You'll get the maximum damage out of like great swords that are crystal infused when you two hand them. Same with same with a lot of weapons actually. At a good intel like base like pure intelligence weapons. I mean Moonlight Greatsword is probably one of the best ones since it scales purely off the int. Um, like pure int weapons, there's not a ton of like pure int. Like some most of them scale off of like dexterity and int. So it's like. It's like a half and half. But Moonlight Greats are technically would probably be the best scaling pure int weapon. Low poise? Um, actually, I think I was able to hit... I'd have to look at my build stats, but I think I was able to hit the 40 poise mark with that. Because my heaviest weapon was like... Either the Claymore or... Um, hmm, I guess... Maybe the great sort of judgment if that's heavier than a claymore. I didn't really have a lot of big weapons on the crystal infused build. The Astora great sword's lighter than claymore, so like, yeah, I was able to hit forty poise, I think.
That's true, there's casting weapons though. There's like the Hazel's pick, there's uh there's a lot of casting tools for Puritans actually. Yeah, like also just having like pure int damage, like magic damage, if someone uses like high magic defense, it's gonna kinda nerf you. So like I like crystal infused more, you get the physical and the int damage, so Dante, are we gonna see a lot of new cosplay builds? Uh, actually, I haven't been. Okay, let's do something rather different. Um, let's go with this. He's got a claymore. <laughs> oh god, he's from the moon. <laughs> oh god. All right, we'll see what we can do. The club actually does pretty well. It's not terrible. <laughs> oh god. See, it's actually good at roll catching lag, honestly. It's not half bad. A dragon. <laughs> With a bubble. <laughs> I always find that funny when that happens to me. It like hits them and then I rotate around their body. <laughs> oh god. It's such a strong weapon actually. I like how I'm just like ignoring the dragon as if he's just like fucking... He's just fodder. It's turning kind of interesting, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna kill the dragon quick. Oh, that's very bad. <laughs> Why, hello, blue boy. Oh, nice. That'll be a nice parry. Come this way, Blue Bee Doo. Blue Bee Doo Bee Doo. I'm gonna isolate you. <laughs> oh my god, the arrow. Man, I'm itching myself currently. Oh my god. Oh nice. <laughs> I hit the laggy dragon. Perfect. That's all I truly needed. Yoink. Yeah. We're not really going to be able to backstab each other really easily. He lives in you. Oh. Oh, didn't think you'd desire one again right away, but okay. That's a tree behind me. Uh, and that got me hit. Blue dee doo dee doo. It's time I killed you. Why is everybody so late in this world? It's one thing to have one person be so late. Oh. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> Dog, you're in my way. Yeah, I know, the Phantom Ranger right now is pretty nuts. I'm not used to it, currently. I know, it's a really good song, right? <laughs> I can't sing it again, it'll get stuck in my head. Dante, you're Inferno, it's over. 
Tja, tja. <laughs> that arrow in the bonfire, though? Oh, did the, did the little dragon shoot an arrow in the bonfire? <laughs> I didn't really notice. That's funny. Ah, uh, yeah, that summon range calculator helps a lot. Uh, the algorithms aren't too complicated either, though. It's like invasion range up. It's it's basically 20 levels up, no matter what soul level you can go, plus 10% of your soul level. So at, like, let's say 100, you can invade up to 130. Because you go up 20 and then 10% of the base soul level that you have, which is 100, so 10. So it becomes 130. Hope Elden Ring kind of has maybe even a little bit more of a range. That would be nice. Especially down. Because down right now is only down 10%. There's no, like, base amount, so... Uh, you never really invade down compared to up. Yeah, reinforced bonk is always good. What is this? Oh. Reinforced Bonk is the Baymore of clubs. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Its hitbox is huge. It's like one of the reasons it's so good. Best Dex PvE weapon. Probably Cell Swords. At least that's one of them. Casual number 18. Oh my god, are you fat rolling, dude? <laughs> oh no. Don't fat roll, fam. I have a spear. Oh my god. Take these. You take the embers. They're for you. <laughs> you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, there. Then I don't feel as bad. Yeah. Uh, X. <laughs> My controller just be broken today. Can't gesture. I can't run sometimes it's very weird it's challenged it led only by my controller very fun fight though mr casual number 1800 or something Yeah, the cell swords are really good for PvE runs. Um, PvP, they're solid. Like, they're just an all-around great weapon. Uh, what about the spiked mace? I actually don't have it on this build because I wanted to try out having the, the follower saber below, like, my ultra claymore and straight sword. So if I'm fighting someone who's turtling, I can just, like, guard break super easily from all three of those weapons. Since, like, you know, dex builds have rapier, so I can backstab people with shields pretty easily. Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, the follower saber is, like, the strength variant to get by shields. For me, anyway. I wish power stance was still a thing. Power stance was cool. Oh, la la la. Let's try it. Do either of these guys have a shield? Probably not. He's got a great sword. Um, this Vihander. Oh, you have a lance. That's awesome. Oh my god, it's the Dark Moon Lance. That'll hurt. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if he happens to land an R1 combo on me, that'll do great damage. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's aiming for. <laughs> he's aiming for the Kamba. It is fun to use the lance like that. What they don't know, I think, is you can parry the weapon art, so like if he just pulls it out willy-nilly, he's gonna get parried. <laughs> uh, I actually hate <laughs> fucking what do you what is that spell called again? Black Serpent. I hate it. Sometimes you can like dodge it, the tracking isn't good on it, but then other times it's like 
it'll clip you from five miles away. <laughs> well, that's not good for him. Kyrie. I like your teamwork, though. You guys were doing well. But now he's got to reapply the buff. Uh, Kyrie. Did a lot of damage. Pretty good, though. I want to parry him. <laughs> Seems to like our one a lot. Yeah. That seems to be a place. Ah. Oh, yeah. The hits before it gets to me. Okay. That's not super interesting, I guess. Oh. Solid backstab, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna fog wall me now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't fog wall me right at the end. I can't walk. <laughs> I can't walk forward. <laughs> Oh well though. They seem like they wanted to fight, that's really funny. Damn. That's sad. That was kind of fun. They were chill. I know, right? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, dude. Yeah, they had good teamwork. I don't know why they would like do that. I guess because I got out of that last uh, combo. They didn't like it. Wah. Yeah, Great Lance is really strong in general. It's good. Okay, if this keeps up, I'm definitely going to go grab another wire. <laughs> I couldn't find it, so I just kept the controller with the wire that I have, but... Uh, being able to walk is kind of dev like uh, it's mostly walking upright. Like I can't walk this direction well. It, like skips. Stupid controller. Remind me to order one. <laughs> I need to get a new one. Um. Uh, yeah, I think Fume is pretty good. I mean, it, they nerfed it a little bit, but it's got good defense to block with. Um, wait a second. And it does strike damage, so that's like what people are mostly weak against with their armor sets. Oh, why is the heart blessed? Because it only does around like 7 uh, damage less than a heavy infused one, and it regens me at the same time, so. Bonus. For strength builds, it works well that way. A uh, dex harp does way better, though. Uh, yeah, you can use the PS5 on uh, PC. I'm not a huge fan of the PS5 controller, though. I prefer the PS4. <laughs> true, true. I will after this invasion. I'll go test if I... If it's the wire and not the controller. Use a blast Dragon Slayer Axe. Yeah, that's actually really good. Weapons with innate lightning damage do well blessed compared to a lot of weapons. Like the Lothric Ultra, really good. You've been liking the Switch control, you crazy. For PC? <laughs> or for the Switch? Yeah, the Lothric Ultra blessed is so good, actually. It's a very good, very good. Uh, best Dark Moonblade weapons for PvP, probably all the dual wield ones are you're gonna get insane damage out of because they have true combos that are already high, plus Dark Moonblade on top. Nuts. Like Cell Swords, Twin Axes, even the Onikiri and Ubidachi, but I think the Cell Swords and Twin Axes are better choices. Uh, 
chameleon pots. Yeah, that's true. You know, whenever it's a sale, I find a lot of people just hiding, which is fine. I don't really want to kill those players anyway. I'm looking for the groups that are traveling. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. My in-game time is just kind of like an estimate. I, I stream like three to four hours. Uh, it, it's always changed. Like some years I do it daily, some years I do it semi-daily since I've been streaming this. So it's hard for me to tell. What's da... What? Uh, what's said da mommy? What's edamame? <laughs> is that what the name is? <laughs> what's edamame? Like the, like the beans? <laughs> Interesting uh, choice of name. We got the the tank with the with the pyro. I like it. I like it. Pretty good co-op setup. It's a lot of FP you got there, Mary. I think you should get in with the weapon swings eventually. <laughs> Wait a second. Was that Boulder he used? You serious? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's great. I have not seen that spell in a while. <laughs> Boulder heave for the win. Black flame, okay. I, I like it, I like it. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. I love the bonk so much actually right now. Something about it just it hits different right now. <laughs> it's putting in work. Oh no, Mary! You fool, Mary! <laughs> Why would you have done such a thing? <laughs> you sacrificed yourself for your son, bro. <laughs> Actually, if anything, I lost a little bit of weight just because I've only been able to do so many workouts. Well, I mean, I work out every day, but it's like a lot of body weight. I do have dumbbells, but they're not as heavy as like my bench in a gym, right? So when gyms open back up, I'm going to be going ham. Which is apparently soon for Ottawa, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Um, I'm not sure. I do want to do the Cinders mod playthrough, but right now, like with the game on sale and a whole bunch of new players coming into it, we get a lot more invasions, so. Maybe in like a week or so. Week or two, I'll start it. Because I just did that other mod run, so. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, snowboard for sure. Now is a great time. Ooh, 80 to 90. Okay, uh, let's see. Two builds I like at 90 for decks are... I really like the quality one I made recently. I call it quality because it has like 25 strength. So when you two-hand everything, you get the 40 strength bonus basically. So you're able to use quality weapons and dex weapons. Uh, but if you want a pure dex build, just go like 18 strength, 40 dex. The rest stamina and vigor. And you're good to go. I know, I'll do another 60 Shidoza. I know you guys want a 60. Uh, maybe, you know what, next stream I'll make a 60. I'll just do like a 60 strength simple. I'll get to use a decent amount of weapons still, so it won't be limited really. So level 60 dex? Okay, I could do dex over strength. Whatever you like. Okay, this guy deserves some embers. He's one of the newer players. Hello there, sir. Why? What? Wait. Oh. Desynced. I see. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I will remember. I will remember. Yes. I will remember. This is level 60. Don't worry. I will. Uh, yeah, 60 can be tough. People don't think that, but if you're at 60, you can invade a host who's like 86 plus 8 as a 60 plus 6, right? So that's already tough. And then on top of that, 
they could have summons that are like a hundred and something plus ten, <laughs> and none of them get scaled in any way. So like they just hit really hard compared to you. What makes ninety so fun? Just the activity MTG. Uh, when I do one thirty three, it's great. It's just I wait longer in between invasions for streaming. So. I like 90 for instant invasions and 133 for my builds, really. Yeah, so level 60 doesn't have much stamina. That's true. It's one of the reasons I like 90 and 125 and 133 more. Yeah, a lot of people like 32. I just don't like the limited amount of weapons. I don't like how it's so heavily straight sword oriented. <laughs> God damn straight swords i accept bribes all right you could take this bribe i'll basically be giving out all my embers today anyway in the kindness of my heart don't die though don't die i <laughs> like 802 for the best quality builds oh man <laughs> okay let's use the glaive yeah you got a bribe that's a bribe to fight me though that's not the fall off cliffs oh too, too many people go for the, the parry on halberds. I feel like it's so difficult. It's got... I don't know. It's pretty ridiculous. What is that? Curve sword? Follower saber. Honestly, the, this is a tough weapon. <laughs> this is a good weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> I wanted to get like a blind back stuff. Don't halberds get a R1 jump attack? I forget. Very fun fight, sir. Ah. Uh, next time we'll use. A spear, maybe. <laughs> yes, he uses the Great Lance. Wait, did I grab the Glaive, didn't I? <laughs> Trill, listen, no, 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 25 is optimal. <laughs> Just like my 25 cat rings that I used to use back in the day. Cure. What? <laughs> How am I supposed to know that's you, Sin? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Can you invade 125 at 90? Um, let's see, 20. Uh, no, the highest 90 can hit is 119. Uh, which works better with Ring Knight weapons? Strength or quality? Quality for their maximum performance, but most of them have a better scaling than... Uh, uh, where's my mouse? Oh, my mouse is turned off. <laughs> uh, of uh, strength and dex. See what I mean here? Even with the spear, better strength and dex. So if you have to choose between them, the strength is better, but they do get optimized on quality builds. More poise. I like I like either thirty seven point six poise or forty poise. Those are the two more, like points I go for. A paladin without miracles? So you just want like like a, a lightning scaling weapon damage build, right? No miracles, just uh, if so, then you just want you want forty faith and then whatever strength index you can invest for the weapons you want to use. Some really good weapons for that build are like you could have like a lightning claymore, a blessed Lothric uh, ultra, a lightning Lothric straight sword, um, a lightning four prong plow. Basically, it's like a lightning infused build, if that's what you mean by Paladin without miracles. Huh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, interesting. My Wex Dust is having issues currently. Lightning Exile Curve is great, so true, true. You need a lot of vitality, though, and you need, what, 24 strength for the Exile? So. Depends on what kind of build you're going for. You can go more like dex or strength oriented with the lightning infused. I tend to like the dex one because my rapiers do good damage, but the strength one is good too. 
Four prong plow is solid, honestly. Uh, I do Marcelo, but I don't use it. I don't like it. I could do this like a, a like in between infinite too. That's kind of kinder. I've done that in the past as a joke because my chat asked for it, but I don't like doing it. I actually, I, I strictly will almost never do it. Doesn't feel honest. Uh, I get them sometimes, James. I don't find hackers a ton, but I do sometimes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I find that anywhere you can't uh, be invaded while using the Wex Dust tends to work better because sometimes, let's say you're standing somewhere that has online activity, it'll try to connect someone to you as an invader and it might ruin your Wex Dust. So it's better to stand it like Firelink. Hello there, Ember. Would you like an Ember? I have plenty. Well, I've, I've given out a lot, but I still have extra. Oh, good parry. <laughs> Very solid parry. I actually never expect someone to parry an R2. Really not what goes through my mind when I'm hitting R2. Hello, boyo. That means we have a good connection, me and that guy. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, well, not the sun, bro, though, not the sun, bro. Wait, no, not him either, he just lagged. Okay, I take it back, take it back. <laughs> what was that? I take back my comment about the good connection. Oh my god, that guy's just walking right through my shit. What the fuck? Hang on a second. Some, like, a little bit sus. <laughs> I'm a little sus of the host. Just because he walked right through my claymore, what? Hang on. I need to test that I can actually hit him first. Okay, I can hit you. At least. So that's something. Oh, interesting time to begin skipping. But can I hit you? I can't hit you. I can't hit you at all. Hang on. Interesting. Well, I'll kill the Sunbro and leave, I guess, because I can't touch the host. I thought it was weird. Yeah, I think I'm desynced with the with the hosty host. That or let me just see if. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah, you can have a one-sided desync. Actually, I know people don't believe that, <laughs> but you actually can. Uh, and you won't be able to hit those, but he'll be able to hit you. It's happened to me a lot in the past. Well, not a lot, but like enough that I know it exists. Okay, but like... I was gonna say, it's getting suspicious that every time this guy would die, I'd hit him, and it wouldn't do damage. Can you hit the host, sir? Chase rules! Yo, let's go. Can you hit the host? Because I literally can't touch those. Oh, you can! Here, I'll just scare him then. Oh, wait, what? 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 Why? What? What? I can touch him now? What? Very fun fight, though. But, what? Uh. Maybe because the sun bro died? Maybe. I still don't understand sometimes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, apparently the harp just fixes it. Uh, do I have my blood turned on? How do you say that? I usually prefer it off. For My reasoning is probably a lot different than other people's. Where is blood? Am I just blind? I might just be blind, uh, but I turned it off because sometimes I find really good in-game screenshots in my recordings where I can use that for a Over thumbnail, there, Chase, and the blood ruins it. Can you tell more about double grab backstab hitbox and why only rapier class weapons has uh, it? Uh, Areshi, for sure, man. Although I couldn't tell you why the rapier class has it. <laughs> it just, it just has a, a longer backstab grab box in terms of like it, it checks for the backstab more than every other weapon. It's really it. It's why it's it's good for fighting laggy opponents.
because if there's if they're in the backstab range at one point during it, you'll probably get the backstab, but I couldn't tell you why. <laughs> I mean, they're just coded in that way, I guess. A very important question for Chase and Chet. When eating mac and cheese, fork or spoon? Oh shit, spoon. Spoon for sure. Damn, I know, dude. Damn you guys are so kind. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, Keanu. I don't want... Oh, no, Keanu. He's going to the boss fight. No. Yeah, Vladimir will at least fight me. Yeah, you guys aren't wrong about the connections today, though. Like, what? <laughs> They're very, very weird. That was weird. Thank you guys so much. But, yeah, I don't exactly know why they did that. Maybe just something they wanted the rapiers to have, since they're more of like a thrusting type weapon. Spoon? I use a spoon. <laughs> Am I weird for using a spoon? That way I can eat more of it at once. I shovel it in. Also, sport is best for. I barely chew my craft dinner. <laughs> like mac and cheese. True madman's use sporks. That's a good one. You can get, you know, you can shovel it and then finish it off by stabbing them in there. I think that's a cultured idea. Exactly, Cameron. See? Shovel. So basically a spoon. <laughs> you just get more in the bite. See, it's you guys who are uncultured. Cameron knows what's up. As long as you're not using your hands, fair. But then, like, the, the vice could be said for, like, a burger, shovel. like, people that it's eat a hamburger with a fork so and knife, and you're like, what like are you doing? <laughs> Hello there, Sandro. <laughs> Don't mind if I kick you off the cliff. No, get off. Get off. Get off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you weren't supposed to survive the backstab, but you did. Um... Okay, I was gonna say, why was the host so far from the, the sun bro, but yeah. Oh, he's over the- oh yes! Hello, Drake Blood. Hello. Let's use the lance, shall we? He's a Drake Blood Goober. Oh god. You were supposed to attack at that time. What about an R2? You can't parry that! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I love it so very much. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Why can't I parry? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. You can't parry this thing's R2, Reginald. You cannot. <laughs> Doesn't really have that much damage to it though. <laughs> Any more waifu streams? I could use the, my witch more. My little uh, deck switch. She cute. Oh, you can parry the Great Lance. You just can't parry its R2. That's all. We need more waifu streams. <laughs> Ow, teammates. Oh, what in the... That was the weirdest looking backstab. Good job, Eric. You got that backstab so quick. Hey, what? There was a summon here? I didn't even know. <laughs> the heck? Yeah, that was a chaos build, but like, damn. They now don't like the Great Lance, and that's okay. Oh, I mean, every strength weapon will be better on a 60 strength. 
it's just optimized for the weapons you can use like split leaf uh -huh. reinforced club i've been using today um really anything that does well heavy infuse is gonna do good on that build really, like anything honestly um this is why hand or like anything anything at all I do, Kyle. I do. I've been using it, actually. Hang on. Ah, oh, my stupid lights under my desk are falling on me. I have the reinforced bonk stick. Ah, oh, I have no idea. I mean, Elden Ring could have, like, different stats entirely, right? We don't really know. Once I, like, see the starting classes, I might have an idea. Ring Knight? Okay. Hmm. Oh god, it's cold in here. <laughs> Gotta warm myself up here. Uh, I just- well, if you're gonna use a strength build, you're just gonna want to heavy infuse pretty much every weapon you use. It just makes the scaling good with strength. I mean, I'm assuming they're up here, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, yeah, I have the Wing Knight Twin Axes as well. I'll try to use these two to get through for this fight then. How about that? Well, I mean, I would have, but I don't know where they are. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's on and off points for everybody that's played the game, right? I mean, Fighter and uh, Prod and Lost were streaming Dark Souls long before me. <laughs> so they took a little break from it. Well, Lost and Fighter did, I think, from streaming it anyway. They'll be back for Elden Ring for sure, though. You need not worry. Yeah, I think it'll be similar. Um, yeah, you know what? Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, they've all had pretty much the same. Minus uh, Dark Souls 2's adaptability, but <laughs> that wasn't the best idea. That'd be nice. Uh, wait, how many starting classes does Dark Souls 3 have? It's got the warrior, the knight, the sorcerer, the cleric. I'd have to go look to know the exact number, I forget. But it feels like eight. Eight feels like the number for some reason. Hello. Oh wait, I was supposed to use the bonk stick here, right? And the axes. Hello there, boys. <laughs> ADP was terrible. <laughs> it was just a stat that everyone had to level, like if you wanted to roll. So I, I didn't really see it as very useful. Ah. Uh, I got clips. Actually, the bonk stick might be very bad for fighting that one weapon type. Seed, yeah. Hey there. It's because it has such a slow backstab grab. That's why it's really bad. I need something with like a medium-ish. Just to kill the phantom quick. Or... Or we can go Glaive. Oh, you know what? Halberd. Let's go Halberd. I never used this thing. Let's go. You can level Attunement. I'd rather not. Attunement isn't for me, young one. Whoa, I did a lot of damage to him. Honestly. I did 500. What? This thing isn't that strong. <laughs> not usually, anyway. You know. The maneuvers are strong here. I want to get like a nice ravioli. Maybe something interesting. It's also so like you could just go in and trade if you wanted. <laughs> I hit them both. What is the range on this weapon? Jeez, it's nuts actually. <laughs> Try the L1. Yes. Nope, that might kill me. Okay. Went right through his body. Oh my. <laughs> Unfortunate. Now we can have some fun though. Ah, that seems so clean in my mind. 
<laughs> what about the heavy S stock? Let's go. You gotta do something interesting for me. No! <laughs> Come back, Dragon Slayer! <laughs> Come back! We have fun times to be had here. Fun times by all. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, hang on. <laughs> You're getting blown off of this cliff, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna do it to you. No! Yeah. I didn't blow him off the cliff, but we got him off the cliff, so nonetheless, it worked out. <laughs> mm, that's funny. I had to do that, I'm sorry. I had to. This is Sparta! <laughs> I love that we won. Oh, you can't kick with the chime. Oops. I love that we got that with the kick, though. Kabunk. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm so excited for in Elden Ring? No one knowing the map layout and, like, all the things that we can just do. It's gonna be so exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm hurt. I, I'm told that kicking on keyboard is harder. Uh, I play on controller. I don't know. I, I can kick when I want to, though. Doesn't seem difficult on the controller. Meow. Um, war banner. We haven't used the war banner today. Let's mix it up. This one? I still don't know the DS3 map layout. You crazy. I feel like the maps are, I mean, they're kind of, I guess they're kind of big, but like, I don't know. I like know everywhere. Just because when you invade, you like tend to look everywhere constantly, right? So I feel like invading has taught me the map loadout. What? Why would you send your buddy home? That was weird. Oh, really? Oh, he quit it. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, you, you just click W and L, or like left click at the same time on the keyboard, right? For, I guess I could see how on controller it's also annoying because you have to flick the analog forward and hit R1 like simultaneously, so the timing needs to be there. Uh, it depends on the setup you're fighting. I'm not going to say that it's always viable. Like ultras, they, they only have so many mix-ups. You can bait people, but like if someone's quick step daggering you, you're going to have a tough time fighting with an ultra, you know? Like, there's certain weapon matchups that are just very bad. Aw, Faint Bunny, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Especially since I mostly just do Dark Souls content, so that means a ton. Crusty Mold. Uh, no particular reason. I just find it easier to swap to my chime and then whatever weapon I want afterwards. No real bonus to it. Oh, Krusty Mold, hello. Oh, we fought Krusty Mold the other day. Actually, I think this is a viewer team. Because I thought his name was Krusty Mod. <laughs> hello, Saint Alexander. What is up, man? Now I, I realize it's Krusty Mold. Okay. Let's go, Saint. You and me. But actually, I can ultra fight you if you want, because like this is kind of like a, I don't know. This place is pretty tough. I got I like for an ultra. Although he did good with that. That was a good running attack. Rolling attack. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, blue. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect. Oh, another red. What the fuck? I'm blind. 
Ow, right in the noggin. <laughs> Alright, now it's become a war. I like it. Okay, back to Baymore. Hello, Trevor. Shall you get involved as well, Trevor? Get off him. He's not used to the four-man teams. Buk Bukawa Papa Poor Pramuk. Okay, that's a uh, stuff. I'm sorry if I butchered your name there, Mr. Blue. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> I see. I kind of expected that. That might be a full blender. Somehow not. These two with their bombs. Oh, I'm that low. I didn't know I was that low. That's a wall. Nice. <laughs> I strategically did that. I need more stam for this if they're going to chase me like this. Okay, I'm dead. That blue has a lot of latency and that sword keeps smacking the shit out of me. Ah, and I keep getting caught on things. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a dead end. There's literally nothing to do here. <laughs> I like absolutely nothing. If I'm alive, I don't know how. Oh, yeah. Yeah, GG. Literally nothing I could do without canceling, and I'm not gonna cancel on them. Good fight, though. Nah, I mean, they're really fine. I fight them a lot and I kill them all the time, but in that scenario, they have like all the PvE gone in the open field. My teammate was only distracting one, so. Couldn't do much about that. And they all just had Sustus for the chase down. Dishonest poop storm. Also, what's going on a second here? I'm just gonna fix my mouse. There we go. That's been bothering me actually. Okay, there we go. Turn it back. Wait, no, I need it to be back on the game itself. There we go. Okay. Nah, Ring City's easy invasion. So that was just not optimal movement on my part. I fucked up. If I find them again, I'll kill them. Y'all. Um. Not the same team, I don't think. Sadly. Yeah, Ring City is probably, out of all my favorite places to invade, this is my favorite. It's the biggest, has the most going on. Uh, I don't know, I find the most fun teams here, like four-man teams. Let's see. Although finding people is, oh, oh, oh no, that's such a journey. Okay. You hate stairs and you hate heralds. Okay, heralds suck, but for the most part, they're kind of easy to dodge. Unless, like, I find as an invader I get hit more than if I was a host. Because, like, they track the host, so you tend to get caught in their, like, aftermath, you know? Like, when they're trying to hit the host, you'll like, be right behind following. Hello, Slim. How are you, man? And you just get cucked so hard. Heralds, you screw me over, but it doesn't usually kill me. Like, it, it just hits me. It's not too bad, you know? This guy, man, you, you shouldn't have come down here. 
I'd rather fight people without PV if it's like a lone dude. But you're rolling towards all the PV. <laughs> That's just gonna make him play more passive, I guess. Yeah, I'm wearing this helmet until Elden Ring because it looks like Elden Ring. That's really my reasoning for it. That's it. There you go, Slim. Now you'll fight me, right? No, nope, there's still a bug here. <laughs> Why didn't you just stay near the- oh, there's Heralds there, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could- yeah, I better let him kill everything, but it's gonna take so long if it's just... Passive straight sword gameplay it is, uh, let's go. This is the counter to the parry shield straight sword technique. Free aim. Oh, I really want to get it. What do you mean? You just want to parry! <laughs> I pulled this out because you want to parry me. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh god. Passive straight sword players despise crossbows. They really do. They hate them. They hate them so much. Because it, it nerfs the 50-50 playstyle of either they're going to R1 or parry. That's it. And then that destroys it. Oh, thank you, uh, Gaston. Uh, I just uh, started invading. Oh, dude, honestly, it just, it just comes with time. Really just... Uh, I'm trying to think of like the best tips. Honestly, if you're invading, just try not to be surrounded. Use the map to... Separate them if you can. It's like the best tips. Uh, just a Black Knight shield. Insane fire defense. Or er, uh, Spears are pretty good. But I think Black Knight shield is probably the best. And R1 spam, yeah. Not playing like ultra passive against it, I would say. Because then they just get to chip you and you're not even like going in for attacks. Perseverance maybe, you know? Cestus Perseverance, then roll catch their panic roll if they fire the crossbow at you. Um... Okay, I guess they're probably down here. The classic weapon swapping, like the R1 swap one. That one's not too bad, it's just... Um, what do I have here? So you just, you R1 with like, let's say, any weapon you want. You R1, go in your menu, take a step forward, R1 again. And then you're able to keep it on whatever sword you want. But, pretty predictable. If you're fighting someone who will have it, like, they could parry you easily. Because you have to keep walking forward and R1ing to keep it, so. I don't find it the most useful. It's really useful against people that just like panic roll away or like light roll, I guess. But it's not the most insane one. Oh, <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> Roll poise, no. Oh, he didn't go for it. Perry. <laughs> Oh, there we go. 
that damage though. Yeah, Exile hurts. Or wait, well he hit me with. Do I have Lloyd Sword Ring on or Shield Ring? I do. I do. I do have Lloyd Shield Ring. Also, another good ring if you're fighting outnumbered. Like it, it'll save you some damage from like a big hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the swap is a glitch, which is why I don't really do it. Unless pe people like to see it and ask for it, maybe then, sure. But I don't play like that normally. Have I ever played D&D, &D, like Dungeons and Dragons? I haven't, really, if that's what you mean. Does Belief co True Combo do more than Gale's? Uh, well, Gale has two True Combos. Hang on. Excuse me. Gale actually actually gets a fully charged R2 to weapon art to R1. That will out damage the split leaf, but the R1 to uh, split leaf, uh, R1 to Gale combo is weaker. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, Ricky. That's why I just showed it. Someone asked about it. I uh, I would. I mean, depends on how much health you have. You can still get one shot with it if you're squishy, <laughs> but most of the time, though, you're good. I don't use the warp pick too much, actually. I have used it, but it, it's not a weapon that I use a lot. Do I have Gale's? Oh, no, I don't have Gale's Greatsword because it's a quality build weapon. It's not a strength weapon, sadly. Yo, mom. Yeah, I saw that name. Uh, oh, he quit out. Okay. <laughs> you can't menu swap in D&D, true. It's too slow for my liking. Actually, I haven't played a lot of like board games in a long time, actually. Uh, I do. Uh, Kisu Tora. I do. trying to think of like the last board game I've actually played <laughs> but D&D &D is technically a board game right unless you guys were talking about some online game I don't know about also what is the war pick scale off of is it is the war pick a strength weapon I don't use it much Uh, my streaming schedule? Lately, it's been around every second day. Uh, normally, though, I would say it's four to five days a week around this time. Just lately, there hasn't been, like, any any interesting things in Dark Souls. So I've been making the content and video editing more. Uh, closer to Elden Ring, I'll probably be streaming every day. Like, literally every day. But for now, I'd say it's probably every second day. Also gives me a chance to catch up on all the, the video footage I have for editing that I haven't used. <laughs> that it's just kind of taking up space on my PC. Gojiro. <laughs> Sometimes you just got a R1, you know? Sometimes the R1 goes brut. Wait, isn't Sasuke Kojiro Chuck Norris's rival? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Is that a cosplay that I just missed? Sasaki from Vagabond. See, see, I, I fail. I didn't know that was a cosplay. Yeah, it's one of the best like wake ups after a crit. So if you land a backstab or a parry, Gundir is a very strong wake up. Actually, so is the follower saber. I should try the follower saber out more. It's got a really good hitbox for like waking up after crits. Gundir's is better though because it tracks. <laughs> yeah, I know. MKP. Some some weapons backstabs aren't the best. Just depends on the air of the weapon. So. Y'all. Um, let's use big bonk hammer again. Let's go. 
Let's go. Whee. Hmm. My instincts tell me they're up top, but my instincts are usually wrong. Oh, hello. What is this? Against the bonks. Hang on, wait. I need to make sure my record actually works. There we go. Hello. How are we, Dokuro no Chaos? Okay, a fellow, a fellow weeb name. I see. Are we all using hammers? Mine's smaller though. But you know what? It's not the size of the hammer. It's how you use it. <laughs> that's that's how it goes. <laughs> Back to the parry shields. I see. How dare you? I'm seeded. Dishonest seedening. A dishonest seedening. Oh, didn't expect you to R1 out of my hammer hit. Very interesting. Ravina, no, don't die to the PvE, you crazy. Oh, you died to the curse. Something even worse. Gotta watch out for that curse. Oh, shit. I gotta watch out for that curse. I'm seated. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Red. A fellow bonker. <laughs> Are you a fellow bonker? Oh, it's my brother in chat. Hello. <laughs> Oh, he's a dex build, though, so you can't bonk, which is fine. How dare you shoot flaming hot things at my face? I love the preferential treatment there, Hosty. I know you I know you want to kill me specifically, but I know. <laughs> it's okay, you gotta you gotta pay just as much attention to the other reds though. They need some love too. Just me. That you didn't need the double perseverance. That it just—it didn't do much for you. Oh no, a spear! I have a spear as well. The vestige user needs to go first, but he's hiding amongst the other critters. It's gonna make it difficult. How did I know? Basic. Get backstabbed, homie. Get backstabbed. <laughs> I love that. It's my little fake get them backstab. 2000. You just turn after moving and they'll roll towards you and you just, you grab that ass. You clap it. Clap them cheeks. Oh, you got the, I guess you got them, so I got this. Okay, it's a fair fight. That doesn't even combo. I don't know if people do this. Such a bad weapon art. I wish it did combo. It'd make it a little bit better, you know? It'd make it actually useful. But it does not combo. <sighs> Too much latency for me to get that, I guess, as a trade. Good fight, hosty. Hello. Good fight, boys. Good fight. Very fun. R1 go <laughs> Sometimes. That was fun though, yeah. The blues, though, I, I guess they went and they fought the other red. They just went so far from the host. There's all, it's true. There's gonna be a vestige spammer in Elden Ring also. I can already tell. <laughs> I haven't actually played Monster Hunter, no. I played the demo, but I never picked up the game. It seems fun. I'm just, oh. I'm just not a huge like only co-op person. I like playthrough games and I like PvP games, but ones that are strictly co-op. Like I might do a playthrough of a game, but Monster Hunter is more of like an ongoing thing, you know.
Yeah, like Monster Hunter is like a, a, f a friend game, I would say. It's like full-on co-op, right? So, if you have a group of friends that would play that all the time, I think it might be enjoyable. Kyo. Yeah. Spell spamming. I mean, it depends. Who, who knows? I mean, they, they definitely have the... Uh, what do they have? They have Homing Soul Mass shown in the Elden Ring trailer. They have the Soul Stream shown. And a few other magic things that were very new. But they are bringing back some of the old spells, so... Uh, is, oh, Monster Hunter needs the DLC to be the best. I mean, most games' DLCs are pretty awesome. So... It's fair. Like, Dark Souls 3 would be a pretty small game uh, without the... I'm trying to think. Without the DLC, it would be pretty bad. It wouldn't be bad, but it wouldn't be good, you know? It wouldn't be the best. My record is being stupid. Okay, there we go. I can finally record. Playing through Mortal Shell and it's good? Damn. I like Mortal Shell. Honestly. More than I liked a lot of the other Souls likes, Mortal Shell is cool. That's a bum! <laughs> Don't mind if I secure it. Livy da vida bum bum will bum and bum you out. Livy da vida. I can't run him out of stamina. Aha! I don't know what to use here. Maybe some wind? He looks cute. Hooah! Wind into Gundyr charge. <laughs> True combo. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes, a fellow brother of the wind. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We gotta stop him. Yeah, Ring City is booming. I love it. This is my favorite spot, so. Double win. Let's go. We'll cut him off. <laughs> wait, I need more blue juice. You can't escape the windening. <laughs> the only other airbender left. Come back here. <laughs> Stop running. Air can follow you everywhere. It ebbs and it flows. Hey, right, we gotta kill him with wind though. It's only fair. Yes! One last wind strike. No! He's escaping. <laughs> no escape. <laughs> Stop it now in the name of the airbenders everywhere. Just need to get close enough to him, and then we're gonna air strike. <laughs> Fair. No, don't die! Don't die! Stop! In the name of the law! No, of course I hit my team. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> wait, wait! I got him off! Oh no! <laughs> He's ruining it. Okay. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> That's fun. That guy got some speed. <laughs> he escaped to the wind. <laughs> this is one of the funner spears in the game, I do have to say. I'm quite a fan of the tailbone spear. GG. <laughs> That was good teamwork. <laughs> that was fun. I do play on PC with a PS4 controller. Yes. That is true. It was just some friendly wind. Nothing to be ashamed of. Twin daggers OP. Uh... I never really use them, but they do have quick step. And they can be used in some situations, maybe, but. 
Yeah, it's it's fun. The, the wind spear is fun. The Vita Vida Loca. Hmm. Do I have separate characters or do I respec? Uh, I mostly just use the respec. But I do have separate characters that need a different starting class, right? So like, if I have a, a mid or low level chaos build, I need the pyromancy starting class. So most of the time I use a knight though. You notice in the stats, seven luck is a knight if it doesn't have 14 int and faith. So I'm mostly a knight starting class. It gives you more. Uh, I should really test that before I go in. I always do that, and I assume I'm going to be able to run by it, but I usually can't. Livy Devi Deluca. Yo, Dakota, thank you so much. That's crazy. What the heck? Thank you, Moe. <laughs> Just sunglasses. I like your Wilhelm cosplay, though. But does it, it should have a heal. You should go for, like, the poise heal to complete it. Whoa. Instant transmission. Oh, you're alive? I thought you died from that. 2 HP! Oh! Going for the buff. I like it. <laughs> I wanted him to use the poise heal, but he didn't. That, that's how you complete the cosplay. You gotta use the poise heal. But Dakota, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Oh, my Wex Dust thing. Yeah, the, if you guys ever have questions about Wex Dust, you can use the Wex command. It just explains what it is, but... Uh, yeah, Wex Dust doesn't change any server you're on. There's just, like, a base game server, and then if you got banned for, like, actually cheating in the game. But Wex Dust just finds you invasions as fast as it can. So. It's a safe download. Well, 99%, like I'll say, just in case something ever happens. But, I mean, I've been using it for years. It's been great. Uh, you know, actually, uh, Tation, there's actually, uh, an exploit to getting infinite respects. So when you respec at Rosaria, uh, after you confirm it and you go back to the menu, you know, where you would choose either reallocate your stats, uh, change your face or whatever, like reallocate appearance. If you alt F4 your game right there, you'll have your new stats and you won't have you, like, wasted one of your reallocations. In my opinion, there shouldn't have been a limit on reallocating. I'm not sure why they did that. I mean, it costs pale tongues. They could have just had it infinite, but... They left that exploit in the game since the beginning of the game, so obviously they don't care about it. Like, it was there from day one, they never fixed it. So maybe they thought, hey, this is okay, anyway. Um, But yeah, it's on PlayStation, Xbox, any anywhere you can use the reallocate thing. Or yeah, just force quit on console, just close the app, it it'll be fine. Oh, hello, Ray. <laughs> what is that in your hand? Is that a Drake blood? That is. Surprise! Play more R1. Play more R1 for days. Poise is beautiful. Free throw! Aw, oh, you didn't move quick enough, but you would have rolled right into that, would you? You would have. <laughs> and I did the like this sad thing. Yeah, they shouldn't have, in my opinion, they shouldn't have had a limit to how many times you can reallocate your stats if they already had, like, an item cost, you know? I don't see why they did that, but yeah, that's been in the game forever. Maybe, Chris, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> Just R1 in the face of danger. <laughs> true, true. Uh, I play with like, a PS4 controller. Ooh. Looked really dark here for a second. I liked it. Yeah, I think a lot of the things like that are lore related, which is, you know, good for the world lore, I suppose. Lame for us. <laughs> Drag Heap is... Sometimes if there's four people right here, it's honestly such an epic battle. But uh, if they're alone... Let's see. You're going to use that... I don't know what I should use, honestly. 
I don't use the glaive enough. The split leaf gets literally all the love. Oh god, you might want to kill that thing. I know, exactly, Esteban. Like, you find spells, you want to try it out. It still costs a Pale Tongue, so you gotta win an invasion or find a Pale Tongue, which... I mean, there's not a ton of if you're not farming the certain enemies, so... That causes you to do online even better, you know? In inflate the online even more. And it just it would have been good. <laughs> I did not expect to see someone go for a setup there. Glaive combos. Oh no. Good fight, old Rang. I never used that spear either. That's the Lothic long spear, right? Do you just use a dual shock four? Uh yeah, just just basic dual shock, Kyle. No custom, custom. Oh, actually, I guess uh, I make start touchpad on the right. I think it already is that, but I remember binding it at some point. That's how I open my menu. Glaive is your favorite type of PvP weapon or favorite PvP weapon in general? Damn, like the actual glaive. Nice. It is good. <laughs> yeah, I did. It catches people off guard, Marcelo. That almost caught me off guard, so. True, the Partisan isn't used too much. But I mean, in a, in like a 3v1, like so for invading, it's kind of tough because its damage is a little bit on the low side. So, it's fine in like fair fights, like 2v2s or like if you have a teammate. But 1v3, I don't find Partisan the best. You need like some type of quick weapon or hyper armor that's a little bit more wide sweeping. Shit, them into the boss. Uh, it depends. Is it split damage? If that's all pure physical, that's pretty damn good on whatever build you have it on. But if it's like chaos or dark, that's pretty average, I would say. Like, let's look at a spear that I have right now on a strength build. My four prong plow does 360. So it's, it's one damage type, though. On an elemental build, it would objectively do more like AR, but it has to go through two absorption types, right? So, oh, damn it! <laughs> we keep invading people that are going into the boss. Ah, yeah, Red Hilt is actually very good. I would, I would say Red Hilt is more of a a good pair weapon, though. I mean, you could use it on its own with a shield. It's got perseverance. It's a good weapon. Yeah, exactly, Hunter. Well, any weapon with Perseverance tends to be a pretty solid weapon. Like the Black Knight Sword, the Mace, uh, Red Hilted Halberd. Is that it? What else has? Perseverance. Alley A? No way. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get there by the time they fog wall me, but I'll run it. Yeah, you could do dual weapon setups. Like, this is a pretty... I haven't used this in a while. This is much better on a dex build, mind you, this setup that I'm about to do because heavy S stock isn't very good, but this is a setup that I used to like for this. Better on a dex build, though. Yeah, Perseverance is just like super handy. It's like, oh, you're getting blundered? Perseverance heal. Ah, the mace is pretty damn good. It's, it's quick, has good hyper armor, Perseverance. Amazing roll catches. The range is nuts on it, actually. It's, oh, what the hell? How'd you get there so quick? I'm so far. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hello, hello. Not Slave Knight Gale. Oh, you killed the host. Look what you've done. <laughs> I didn't even get to poke Ogre. <laughs> yeah, the Morning Star as well. Does the Morning Star have better scaling on decks? It's basically like the Dex Mace, right? So it's good, is good. I actually like never use Ward's Great Hammer. <laughs> now that you say that, I really it never comes to mind to throw on strength builds. I don't know why. Oh, the host fell down. Oh shit! Like on the side there. Yeah, I didn't even realize. But now that you mention it. I saw that. 
Yeah, the mace does pretty good damage. Oh, hello, bugger. What is up, Mr. Bug? Um, what was I doing? This. Oh no. <laughs> They're so far from me, damn. Do I use the standard button map? I do, yeah. I just use the basic Dark Souls map loader. Circle dodge, X accept things, triangle, two hand weapons, square, item use. I found it pretty perfect already. No! Wait. Did they even cross? I don't think so, because that thing is not dead. So no, they haven't crossed. I actually, I don't remember. Well, actually, I used the store great sword in my first playthrough. I found it at the cathedral, and then I just stuck with it. I liked it. Um, they might be up the ladder. Yeah, black knight weapons are all pretty solid. Whoa, a Dakota though. Thank you so much again, man. By the way, I just loaded in again. I appreciate the support, man. As I wait for this, this ladder is uh, quite the mine. The absolute IQ on that map. <laughs> How are you gonna follow the same way your phantom died? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I was not ready for it. <laughs> okay. That hurt a little bit. God tier invasion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I thought they had like a good trap up there. I was like, okay, they're throwing the seed in chaos, you know, trying to hit me off the ladder. And then in comes Phantom, just soaring, just fucking 1100 death damage. <laughs> and I'm the host, you know, 10,000 IQ. <laughs> Oh, that was the best, best invasion in a while. See, it's those. I'm gonna, I'm so excited for those in Elden Ring. <laughs> you know, where you're just like, what? What happened? Like, what actually just happened? That's just like Dark Souls to me. <laughs> like, all my first invasions when I started playing this game, like, things like that would happen. And you're just like, well, <laughs> that's about right. It's gonna be great. Um, I get this way. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. Although, yo, that man was fast with the alt F4, though. You gotta... <laughs> you gotta respect it. <laughs> he was, like, in the middle of falling, just... <sighs> fuck. <laughs> Not the ledge again. Anything. Oh, hey, a bonk! <gasps> Alright, brother. <laughs> we have to bonk each other. It's, it's foretained. It's foretold. You're using the stomp? Well, I'm using the absolute lightning club, you know, because it makes the most sense. <laughs> this weapon is so troll looking. Wait, 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 wait. We have to do it at least once. No one expects it, like, absolutely nobody. <laughs> This is a true combo. <laughs> and it just looks absolutely great. Good fight, man. <laughs> it looks great. It's like the longest animation, too. <laughs> Two men heavily armored. In the middle 
of a sunken world. Their choice of weapon, a wooden club. Which one will be Victor? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It does have good range. Yeah. Stone Age fight. <gasps> I hope Elden Ring has a lot of different biomes too. Like, I don't know, like really good ones. Wait, we don't have many. I mean, I guess Dark Souls 3 has the demon runes that has lava, but other than that, we need more like changes. Clubs at the end of the world. That's all that's left. Oh, what stats am I using? Here you go, man. I have the life ring on, by the way, if you're wondering why my HP looks low, but isn't. Life ring plus three. Balances out the... If you had 44 uh, vigor without the life ring, it'd be the same as 35 with. Well, five less, but, you know, same thing, basically. And this way I get to put more points into vitality. Could I use the Havel's ring instead of the life and get the same effect? Yes. But I'd have 13 less physical absorption. <laughs> and that, that we can't have. Gabby Okara, another passive straight sword. I'm gonna take out your favorite thing. Your absolute favorite. <laughs> oh, the two handed with the weapon art. Oh, yes. The absolute state of straight swords. I'm over here now. You lost me. You lost me, brother. <laughs> oh, that Brazilian net connection. I always gotta remember the range. It's horrendous. I just gotta like pre fire it basically. <laughs> I know you want me. I know you want me. I know you want me. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that's gonna stuck in my head now. I can't keep doing that. And you get more physical and fire defense. That's true, that's true, that's true. It's very true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sir? Oh, Estes? Okay. I'm glad you've chosen for us. I can heal. Thank you. Will I? Probably not, though. <laughs> oh? Oh? Oh, almost? I'm over here? Oh? 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 Almost? No? Oh? <laughs> this guy doesn't like me. Okay, I think we'll just kill him. I just like to torment people. Kia! Kia! I mean, I'm no rocket. What the fuck? Did you take my late so hit? Or <laughs> you take my hits so late. They like go through his face and he swings his straight sword twice. <laughs> Connections in Dark Souls. Something I hope they improve upon in Elden Ring, honestly. I really, really hope they do. Because it's, it's too advantageous to some people sometimes. Oh, you out finally? Thank you. Green. 
Yeah, the straight sword was kind of working better for you, homie, for sure. Okay. Yeah, you know, a ping filter or regional servers. That's all I ask for. Because, like, no one wants to fight someone with, like, three, four hundred ping. Like, nobody. I don't know why it does it like that. <laughs> yeah, it would be a godsend hunter, really. It would. That's true. <laughs> yeah, anything like anything above 180 and you, you're just chartering like kind of guest territory for everything you do. It's just, it's not as nice. The game just feels much worse on that ping. So yeah, you know, even if it was limited to just like North America, like it doesn't need to be like huge, like not just, you know, I'd even be happy with that, but I don't know if Elden Ring will do that, honestly. <laughs> you crazy Shidoza. More so for the second statement, but you know. Wizard! Absolute wizard! Dishonest wizard. You get the hop. <laughs> you get the hop, straight sword, brother. Ah, uh, you didn't fall for it the second time. Absolute dishonesty. I'm keeping the harp on. That's what you get, wizard. <laughs> you get quick step. <laughs> Are you a fan of it? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Do you enjoy the quick step? Do you like it? Is it your favorite? <laughs> Dishonest wizard. <laughs> Bilbo Swaggins. <laughs> no more wizards. <laughs> no more homing soul mass. I'm kind of sad that homing soul mass is in Elden Ring, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, quick step is pretty up there. Yeah. <laughs> cancer v <the> cancer. <laughs> Stupid wizards. Okay, I take it back. Quick step isn't so bad on a really good connection. That's just something like a lot of people don't get. Like if I'm fighting someone with really good ping to me, you can actually roll catch the quick step. But the amount of times that you invade somebody that has like a good connection to you right now is not so high. So most of the time quick step sucks to fight. I like the bonk stick, it's been fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's kind of nice. That's a good counter. Gives you the frames you need. Hey, Behemoth. Welcome, man. You just love to hate wizards. I actually, honestly, I don't mind wizards too much. You just you just get used to hating on wizards because when there's like three or four people on a team and one is pew-pewing from the back, it's rather annoying. <laughs> but alone, it's not the worst. You're right. They're not the worst. Homing Soul Mass just sucks, though. Homing Soul Mass is the worst. Um. Two wizards at once. Also, also sucky. Because <laughs> you can't, like, parry. You can't, like, th there's not a lot of counters, especially if they're both doing what I just said. It's terrifying. Four wizards at once. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you may as well just persevere and it's like gun to your charge. That's like their only choice. Especially if one of them has a vestige, like a and one's a crystal soul spear boy. Rip. Yeah, three wizards in a corridor. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that's that's tough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I agree. Why you got why you have a spell parry and not have it send it back where it came from? What? <laughs> like it would have probably been so much easier just to like, you know, deflect the trajectory in like designing that shield, but instead they make it like wave around your body. Like that's so much harder. <laughs> why did they not just send it back? Uh, homing soul mass and homing crystal soul mass. I don't know who this host is. Uh, but homing soul mass is casted quicker, costs less FP. Uh, it does like less damage, so it's really up to you. I think personally that homing soul mass is better though. For for most builds, if you're going for like some one shot wizard, yeah, you want crystal homing soul mass. But if you're actually using a weapon and using homing soul mass to like make the players panic roll and maneuver, then using homing soul mass is better. Hey, what is up, Luna? Hello, hello. Yeah, the homing soul mass one is just usually better in most scenarios. But if you're invading and using like a, a super squishy, almost one shot wizard, then yeah, crystal homing soul mass. Yeah, I'm intrigued too. I wonder what abilities they're getting in Elden Ring. Yeah, from from like what they stated, it's still weapon arts and stuff, but interchangeable ones. So, I honestly think from like what we saw, and the fact that it's gonna be on PS4, the movement, like it's it's still on the same game engine as Dark Souls 3. It looks like, to me, anyway. Obviously, much more updated, but. So I think it's gonna be very similar to Dark Souls 3. Like movement-wise, the roles are the exact same from what we've seen. Uh, just different weapons and interchangeable weapon arts and a bigger world and hmm I don't know I guess we'll see yeah you can parry uh, the uh, Farron Flash Lord yeah you can you can for sure grand power ayayo oh god you don't say hmm you know what? Let's go Ultra V Ultra. <laughs> Plus we can we can do some launching. It's been a while since we sent someone to the moon. Well, he was already there. He didn't mean need me to send him. He's already been to the moon. <laughs> Did you, you see how long it took for that to activate? What the heck? Sit down. R2 only. <laughs> he doesn't like the R2s. They are not his ally. <laughs> they are mine. <laughs> I like him though, he's cute. What are we changing here? Cell swords? Alright, different dual wield weapon. Noted. Oh, I didn't roll. I got stuck on the rock. But... <laughs> Come here, brother. That's your invitation. I R1 once. Oh, I tried the dead angle and then do it. Ooh, this is a great FOV. I like this. I don't like your latency, though. You're taking hits really late. Ha 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 Puppy power. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this is kind of tougher. And he backs up you. <laughs> I will get those cheeks one way or another. I promise. <laughs> oh god. Okay. That turned into something rather interesting. I don't know what, but it did. <laughs> 
I tried to kick him off the ledge. He like dodged it. It was close though. I used to be an Ashen one until I took a soul mask to the knee. I took one to the face. You got off lucky. <laughs> Yeah, nice, Raven. That's awesome. Yeah, it helps a lot just to learn the spacing of all the weapons. Especially, like, instead of just going into an invasion and being like, well, shit, there's three of them. <laughs> That's going to be a tough time. No, now we're the Tarnished. We're no longer Ashen Ones. In Elden Ring, you are Tarnished. <laughs> By what, though? Hmm. I don't know. Oh god, was this that super laggy dude that we invaded? Yes, it was. <laughs> that we killed, but it took a while. Uh, best crit weapon? Depends on your build. Uh, strength build, fire dagger. Dex build, objectively, I, like a sharp dagger. Um, <laughs> 3400 ping, here we come. Not today. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I'm not sure what they mean by tarnished, though, actually. Maybe, like, you were royal, or you're tarnished. I don't know. That guy was from Brazil. That's what I thought. <laughs> Tarnish seek. No, 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 no. I don't know if we're seeking anything. We're trying to, obviously, overthrow the royals of the land. Yeah, maybe we're sullied. <laughs> Not just tarnished, we're sullied. Yeah, Yorms is a good swap. Like, if I have a strength build meant for uh, parry swaps, not just the dagger, then yeah, Yorms is nuts. I mean, Leto's is also nuts, but. Hello there, sir. Your entire name suggests weird things, sir. This is the get guard broken blade. <laughs> oh no. Not the fury swipes. <laughs> Anything but the fury swipes. He... <laughs> really? <laughs> you ruined my fully charged heavy? <gasps> the absolute audacity of you. <laughs> Makes sense. Good lore, Emperor. Uh, I mean, I use most of these weapons, but two-handed weapons, Claymore, Split Leaf, a spear is nice for chasing people down. Um, yeah, those three would really cover a lot if you're limited on choices. A great sword, uh, a quick roll catch weapon like a straight sword or a curved sword, and then. Spilly for combo damage, spear for chase downs. I just like to keep a wide variety for fun. The fort's great hammer. True, he's got perseverance. It's good. <laughs> so I can swap to it from any weapon, Jordan. I've done this before. <laughs> it was like half a year ago, though. I don't use this build too often. My quality build has it, actually. I take that back. My quality build has a lot of gun deers. My strength doesn't usually. Um, 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 um. I've been liking the Red Hilted Halberd today, too. And the Glaive. Ah, uh, yeah. I think there's a setting for that, Iris. Uh, I still see the dislikes. I mean, it's weird. <laughs> People are getting too soft. What the hell? I mean, yeah, it's lame to go dislike someone's video in general. I don't think I've ever disliked a video just because I'm like, if I don't like someone's video, I won't watch it. <laughs> like, the people that like always comment negative things on random channels and dislike them, I'm always like, what? Like, why? You're wasting your own time. But, I mean... <laughs> Hello there, LY. 
What is up? Oh, I thought this was. <laughs> I thought I was holding the ring knight spear. That was my bad. L1, do it. You know you want to start break dancing. Okay, fine. Oh, you did it, but you did it so late. <laughs> you did it after I had already run eight circles. There we go. There's the bum. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. I deserve that bum. There we go. I guess. It's just like you could do something so much better with your time. Like I know there's some people that have like a following of people that just dislike their stuff all the time. Leave negative comments, but like dude, just further your own life, you know? <laughs> Go do something much more beneficial to you. It's so strange. Fatality. <laughs> Uh, honestly, it's good if you're close up. Yeah, I, 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 even then though, I just don't click on them, you know? Like I just, I don't even want to look at the video. Cause when you click on a video, it, it gets thrown into your algorithm, right? Like if let's say I watch a Avatar The Last Airbender video, you're gonna find more of those recommended to you. So like just going to click on this video that you're like, why am I recommended this? Like clicking on it, it makes it so it, it would be more recommended. So just don't watch things you don't enjoy. Um, they drop their hammer, but no armor. Yeah, it is. Once you get hit by the L1, if you stagger it, like, the roll catch is nuts. It really is. It's a good mix-up. <laughs> yeah, it's so, it's so weird. It's such a weird mindset. I especially hate it when I see it on smaller content creator channels, like when they're starting up, you know? Because, like, they just see, like, all the comments. and It's, it's just so negative. Those people bother me. I don't watch twerk. Sure, you don't, China. That's all. You, you know, you got TikTok specifically for the twerk. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, Shadoza. I want the Avatar: The Last Airbender. Okay. I want that. It was just an example because I watched one thing recently, and now I have a lot of them recommended to me. Oh, 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 oh! I see what you mean. Yeah, not the recommended. Yeah, it's mostly for the recommended ones I was talking about. Indomable. But yeah, there's a whole tab of like COVID and stuff on YouTube right now. It's really weird. Um, let's go this way. Because up would have been a bad choice probably, right? Uh, what games am I excited for other than Elden Ring? Um, none that really come to mind because I'm obsessed with Elden Ring. <laughs> but if you guys can throw other game titles out there at me and remind me. I mean, I, I, I do play other games. I just have nothing that I'm super looking forward to right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, Blue. How are you? Siegfried. Hello. Um, I did say I wanted to use the war banner. I don't think I used it once today, so... That's right. We begin, Siegfried. We begin. Oh, you use it well. You blocked with it. I don't know how good of a wake up this has. I'm gonna kick. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I really wanted to get a nice charged RT with this. Cool. Ah, and the R2 on this thing actually has a lot of range. Like, it thrust that shit so far forward. I don't use the War Banner enough, actually. Oh, another blue. Wait, is he just not up here? Or, like... Is the host up top? Maybe? I don't want to drop down. Blue, no! You fool, don't do it! He's not down there, or is he? No, you broke that. He's not down there. You fool. <laughs> now I need to find the host. Or I guess leave if I if he's not down even the first drop. Hosty host? Are you hiding?
<laughs> you thought I didn't see you, fool. <laughs> Uh, okay. You was wrong, Cellsword lad. You was wrong. Come back here, indomitable. Oh, you're running from a bow. What are you doing? Come here. Come here, silly. I have a bow in my hand. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Plunge! <laughs> I have never been so cheated. Ah! I was looking at Chow while I ran into that thing. I hate this game. Dishonest arrow hitboxes. They're so weird sometimes. He's a runner, he's a track star. <laughs> I'm glad you realized that was a bad ambush, thank you. <laughs> Wait, they seem like the type to just let me bow them, honestly. <laughs> Get your ass out here. <laughs> Oh, not a stamina. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the knight's on me. Okay. Maybe I'll have to put the bow away for a second. <laughs> I leave that to you. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! You put him in the ceiling, man. Jeez. You crazy. <laughs> you dead. Are you crazy? Hey man, there's a Lothric Knight above us, careful. Oh, lagging PvE. Jesus. Things are not going great for this man. Return of the bow. <laughs> I love it. I love when I have a teammate if I want to have a bow invasion, because like it actually works. He grabbed a bow too. No, you're in the way. No. <laughs> My shot. <laughs> Where you think you're going? <laughs> you absolute fool. <laughs> Honestly, I love this. Now, this is a true invasion right here. <laughs> we need more Stam. He's running that way. Stop him! Stop him with the bow! <laughs> Fun fight, Indomitable. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that's true. You could use Storm Ruler in front of it. <laughs> that was tough. Sometimes the bow shots are on point, you know? Sometimes. Uh... I'm not sure, really, uh, Koenig. They did say that he was done the storyboard, uh, storyboarding for the world, though, years ago. So I think he did it right away. 
They said that the lore also doesn't really tie them down to certain mechanics that Dark Souls does, so it lets them have more freedom with it, which is cool. Which is when they spoke about not having embers needed for like online play. Because I'm pretty sure every Souls game has had a form of that, right? Humanities in Dark Souls 2, embers, like to go online and co-op or invade, like you needed someone to be embered, as well as online, so... It just was already two like factors that limited co-op and PvP. Now they said that it's not going to be there, so sick. Teehee. Teehee. Yeah, he just like designed like the world, like basically, like gave them like a, a construct for the world from what I've seen, and in the interview that I saw him talk about it. Yeah, same with like co-oping with your friend, you know, you start a game, you have limited embers, so they're worried about wasting them, like it's just, it's so much better without that, honestly. It really is. So much better. I'm glad they did that. Teehee. Hello. Kaplow! Kaplow! R2s are such a great roll catch after an R1 running attack, like wow. They really are. So good. <laughs> I thought he might go into it, but he didn't. Ha, bait. My R2s are just baits. Yeah, I got another launch. Yeah, Covenants are confirmed too, so uh, I guess, I, there's probably going to be a lot of online tied to the Covenants as well. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure though, they didn't really confirm how the co-op and PvP works exactly, but... They said there's going to be certain areas where you can easily look for like co-op signs and stuff. And it, they said invasions specifically, so... I mean... Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be kind of similar to Dark Souls in terms of how it works, but... They didn't exactly specify from everything that I've read and seen. Record, goddammit. It always does it in such a- WHOA! <laughs> Interesting start. <laughs> Hello! Sorry, you just you scared me. You had a charged R2 going as I spawned in. <laughs> scared the shite out of me. <laughs> yeah, probably something like a red eye. Obviously, it's not going to be the same exact thing, but it'll be similar. Hello, boys. Wait, what? I thought we ran this way. What? <laughs> no, it's online. No, a lot of people don't know that Dark Souls actually has an online, I swear. They, they didn't really market the game to show off that it has online. Hello, boys. They really didn't. I think they should have. I think it would have been a good selling point. People know they can co-op and adventure through worlds. Like, it would have been good. You lost one of your brothers to the... Well, he didn't die, but he's on the other side of the fire, and I, I don't recommend... What the? That looked whack as hell. I don't know why, but it did. Forehead. <laughs> Give me those bosoms. Um. Bonk. I know. It fell. I'm going around. I'm a bonky bonker, yeah! Bring thy weapons, yeah, they are. But uh, they do really well on strength as well. You don't need like all the dex healing. Uh, some great swords have, oh, have pretty good dex healing. Uh, Hollow Slayer being one of them. Saint Alexander! Oh, it's you again, buddy! Oh! Come back here. Fight me. Alex, come on. We both have a mace. We can have mace warfare. Did you get That was good. 
Alex, no, don't, don't. We're having such a fun fight. Why do we? Why do we need teammates? So you gotta get hits. You're good. You're Gucci. <laughs> I like Alex. He's a kind dude. He doesn't get roll caught, but it's important to not get roll caught. He's got his spacing down. He's good with the mace, it seems. See, good hits. Good hits, Alex. See, you got this. I poisoned! No, my plan! I like how the poison chips though, it does well. Good fight though, Alex, very fun. I kind of thought Alex was going to make a break for it against Nadir, but... Oh, that was like perfect timing. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Other curved swords. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Other curved swords are a good way of dealing with curved swords. <laughs> I can appreciate the attempt. This is kind of like a like a slow raid through. I have to like fight my way through all the teammates, you know. Kind of feels cool. This is the other one. In Wait, is this the host though? This isn't the host, right? Nope. Not the host. So I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone standing in my way every couple so feet. <laughs> nice, you missed. <laughs> they have like little little gank corners set up. I like it. Ambush Souls 3. Get in there, skeleton. Make them get mixed up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to play it a little bit smarter. Um, let's see. What do we do here? No, don't run to me, dear. We're having such a good fight. You guys are doing so well. Like, why? Why would you have to do this? You guys should have just spawned in the room, what the hell? That's such an odd plan. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that was an odd, odd plan. You rascal. <laughs> Hang on, my coffee is getting really cold. This is kind of sad. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bleh. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's not a very... I mean, some people can deke around Midir pretty well. <laughs> yeah, the, the phantom pointed the host down. Rude! <laughs> Microwave it. Yeah, I can make a new one. <laughs> I'm not that poor. <laughs> it's only like a, a fourth of it left anyway. I don't know how I'd feel about microwaved coffee. Oh my god, a Havel! Wait, this is important. It could be funny. I'm recording. <laughs> Hello there, Havel. Are you fat rolling? You are crazy! Wait, wait, wait. What else can we do that's kind of funny to a Havel? Um, bonking a Havel. Yeah. You can't just not bonk a Havel, you know? It's part of the lore. I ran out of stamina. That's the only reason that didn't kill him. You want some of this? You want some bonk in your stonk? No, oh, I'm stuck with this heavy attack shit. Oh, give me more stamina, please. I need it. That was so funny. No, don't you dare go in there. Wait, what? Uh, aha! <laughs> I took one with me. <laughs> you don't escape, brother. You don't get to escape. <laughs> the bong will be with you, son, bro. You gotta survive down here now. It's a time game now. <laughs> You <laughs> ran out of time. <laughs> we take rise. I like medium roast coffee. I realized recently. Dark roast is good too, though. I, I, th I think I like all, but I think medium is my preference. Wait. What's a Havel thing to do? You know, you'd hide and then you'd come get the elevator. For your teammate. Right? Those are Havel Tharp. Oh, he went straight to the boss. Damn. Damn it. You don't run from the bonk. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Well, it was pretty, it was pretty funny against the Havel. Uh, what items can you get when you PvP? Well, there's different ones for different covenants. If you don't have a covenant, you're just gonna get uh, what's called a Pale Tongue that you use to give to the covenant leader, Rosaria. You could use it to reallocate your stats, uh, change your appearance of your character, or just further the progression of that covenant with the with the Pale Tongues. And you get rewards for like 10 and then 30. But each covenant that you have equipped while PvPing will give you that covenant reward usually. So there's a lot to the online play in this game. I feel like a lot of people just don't get to experience that. Tuttle. I'm coming, Tuttle. Uh, I mean, as long as you keep your weapon level basically like one-tenth of your soul level, you'll be pretty good no matter what. So even if you're like soul level 70 plus 7, like you're going to find invasions. Just invasions range from soul level and weapon level, and they're tied to both of those things, so... You can't be like soul level 20 with a plus 10. You won't find anybody. You know what I mean? Bonk, 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 bonk. Really? Reaction time of a god. Can I just say? I shake this in your face and you didn't attack until like way after. What an absolute chaticus. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, we got hit by that thing. Yeah, also, it's like, like, let's say you go soul level like 20 or 30, right? Most of the time, a raw build is what you're going to go for. And everyone just pumps health at the beginning. So it's like your damage compared to the health ratio isn't that good at 30. So if you're fighting a four-man team, like, even if you land backstabs and stuff, it takes a while to kill people. So I like, I like 60 and up preferentially, but I like 90 and 133 the most. I haven't done 60 in a while, but people want to see it because the game's on sale, so it's pretty active, apparently. I guess I gotta try that out next time. Oh my eye, holy... Okay. 
my eye was freaking out. Plus 12. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I feel like that would make the weapon worse because it's not meant to be plus 12, so if you do that, like, you get less damage. I remember when like cheaters were throwing items into your inventory, I had like a plus 80 dark sword, and it did like no damage. And <laughs> imagine missing that. <laughs> I didn't even know you were there, lad. Holy Chad! Just got up from that, like you didn't even just get combo, Jesus. Son Grodius, the Chad. Oh my god, Spilly. It's so strong. <laughs> Especially if you learn how to roll catch right after the combo. Chad Bionicle, hello. It's nutty. You cannot get roll caught by that or you're dead. It's crazy sometimes. Freaking split leaf. Like it needs an infinite. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Iris. Yeah, exactly what Iris said. So there's Twinkling Titan Eye weapons and boss weapons and then main weapons. And each of those upgrade with different materials. The Twinkling and the boss weapons only go to plus five. So you got to think of them as like double of, of what they are. So if you have a plus three one, it's a plus six in the matchmaking scale. If that makes sense. <gasps> Excuse me. Dry throat. Whoop, big bonk. I have little bonk. It always spawns me here, but like, I swear, they're never at the beginning. Like, they're always like over there. Is Demon Souls PvP not good? I wouldn't say it's not good. It's just it's the same exact PvP that the base Demon Souls had like 12 years ago. Uh, on top of that, they didn't fix any of the glitches that were in the game from that long ago. In fact, they added some new ones. <laughs> uh, and then on top of that, it's the worst game to invade in because players can legit just go into their menu, save, and leave. So like, there'll be an invasion, you're winning, and then they just save. I know people can just alt F4, but the fact that the game just lets you do that makes it so much more common and I just I just don't find it to be worth for invading. But I wish it was. I wish they had updated the mechanic, threw it on like the newer engine. I don't know why they kept it the exact same after calling it a remake, you know? What the fuck? They basically just made it look a lot better. I know they rebuilt it, but they kept it the exact same, so it's it, you it was just like a glorified remaster kya um i mean if you want to get into pvp it's definitely nice to co-op at first and like fight invaders with a team i would say because then you have the team to back you up and you kind of learn all the weapons slowly uh, so, you know, being a blue phantom or summoning and co-oping with a friend, definitely a good way to get into it. Yeah, they did it a bad way too, though, uh, Tibber. It's not, it wasn't even region lock. You just picked your region. <laughs> like, so that means that it didn't really matter at all. It just created an extra step, you know? Like if someone had a region lock saying, I only want people in North America. You know, like literally like that's all that can connect to me in general. It's different. What they had was a bunch of like connection regions that you can just choose from. That's worse because then you could be like, oh, I just want to go fight this person who's in this region and the, and the ping is still going to be there, you know? So it was bad. That was a bad choice in my opinion. You know what I, I like that would be good? I mean, they're never going to do it. But what I like about servers is you have a ping to the server, right? And then... Uh, you just get used to that latency always, because it's your ping to the server. Everyone has to connect to that server. And then it'll always be perfect connections in-game, like always. You'll just have the latency from you to the server. That's it. But Dark Souls will never have that, sadly. But it's okay. We've kind of gotten used to it. A little bit. <laughs> but when you see this, it's kind of scary. Goodbye, El Frato.
Still level 60 plus 6 is pretty balanced in terms of health ratio damage. You don't have a lot of uh, sorcery that will one-shot you usually. It is pretty balanced, yeah. Uh, no, Citizen, sadly, I, I, they didn't say anything about servers. Sadly. I doubt it. <laughs> but if it, if it was like that big of a game that they want it to be, and they really like the online that they've worked into, it would be good that they did that. Uh, I, I hope Elden Ring is cross-play as well. I mean, every game at this point, it just gives the longevity of it to the game. If it's cross-play, it's going to last longer, more players, everyone can connect to each other, you know? Uh, as long as they did better with their anti-cheat. There is a lot of people that just cheat on PC. <laughs> yeah, true. But Dusk is also easy to kill at 62, right? You just, one combo will kill it. So. Yeah, crossplay with optional, disa like to disable. There you go. Then people can't complain. And people that want more activity, turn it on. Plus, especially with Dark Souls, it's not one of those games where it's like, you know, controller versus keyboard with gun aim, you know, and aim assist. Like, it's. It's a, like an RPG. There's not huge bonuses to either. They each have like at least one or two things, sure, but that's really it. Yeah. That slowed R1? I gotta admit, it caught me. Fun fight, Willow mode. Yeah, that's that's the tough thing. So when you're making characters, you know, and you're making a mid-level character, you got to make sure you don't upgrade your weapon past the level you want it to be. Because if you upgraded a weapon to plus eight, like your character account is now plus eight. Like you can never get rid of it. And it's just you are plus eight. Oh, I'll get some rest, man. Enjoy your day. Yeah, exactly, Esteban. I, I, I hope more games do that. Lots of games have done crossplay. It's worked well. Especially in this game where it literally would have no downside to having people on keyboard or controller, it's whatever. Dirty combo, yeah, that thing's strong. <laughs> it really is. Want some bonk for your stonk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's bring back the bonk. Uh, I use a controller myself. Uh, just the standard PS4 one. Yeah, it's super active apparently at mid-levels, uh, Dallas. I definitely gotta grab my soul level 60 again. I haven't used it in a long time. Like a long time. <laughs> that big bonk stick. I Well, I mean, all the Souls games have always been locked to 60 FPS, so I'm just assuming that Elden Ring will be. What I liked unlocked FPS? Hell yeah. <laughs> it would look so nice for like content creation reasons. The higher FPS a video looks, I find the, the smoother it looks even if you have to render it at 60 FPS. But I don't think Elden Ring will be like some unlocked FPS game. It might be like 120 if it's going to be on PS5 or whatever, but we'll see. Um, This is up though. Wait, wait, ooh, get down there. Oh yeah, for the crossplay reasons? Yeah, that's true. I mean, get a PS5. <laughs> PS, if PS5 can do it, I, I could see them maybe doing it, but if it can't keep up with uh, FPS, then they wouldn't do that. I'm joking, though. getting a PS5 right now is still ridiculous, like I'm told. Oh my god, I just realized what weapon this guy had in his hand. <laughs> hey! God, it's such a it's such a strong mix-up, actually. Good fight, man. Yeah, well, it depends on what you have more game time in, right? Like, 
we have done tons of hours on the controller versus the keyboard. <laughs> like, you're gonna be bad on the keyboard compared. I can still space and play, but I can't menu because I don't have it embedded in my brain like a combo, you know? But there are keyboard players that are great. So it just comes down to which one you learned on and practiced more. I just use the, the basic DualShock 4 controller, like the standard one. Oh, I really don't use Eddie unless someone in the world I'm fighting bedtime uses them. Or if my chat likes to see some weapon swaps, because they're just they're not as bad. But I still don't do that that much either. <laughs> Kenick, 120, man, I want 360. <laughs> I paid for a 360 hertz monitor. I'ma use the whole monitor. But I, I can severely see a difference between uh, 144 and 240. I don't know what some people have told you and lied to you. From 60 to 144 is night and day. Not even a joke. It's it's a world difference, 60 to 144. But then 144 to 240 is like if you had what you thought was smooth and just refined it so much more. That's like the that's the best way I can explain 144 to 240. And then 240 to 360 is like the input delay you might notice. It's not as bad obviously but yeah 60 to 144 is insanely different looking <laughs> you have to no you can't you can't have 240 fps in dark souls sadly i was talking about other games <laughs> hello there okay you have a straight sword let's do more bonking you know at this point i'm just a bonk build you know may as well just go for it <laughs> you haven't seen me use the seventh one? <laughs> I just hit R2. <laughs> it's so convenient. Like, I used to do this with the cat ring, but I realized I really only use like two rings anyway in my first slot. Like these two rings, so I don't really need all the cat rings to be honest. I uh, no, like Dark Souls is just very badly optimized for the PC. There actually is a mod that unlocks your frame rate, uh, but it comes with a lot of drawbacks, by the way. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, if you do choose to use it, if let's say you're walking and you walk up or down stairs, you'll run in place a lot of the time, and your menu has trouble opening and closing. That's what I noticed when I tried it out. Just wanted to see how it looked. Bonk is powerful. Uh, no, I mean, you guys are welcome to try it, but uh, it, it has a lot of issues. <laughs> it's honestly not worth it. Yeah, you just you just run in place if you like touch a wall or an uneven surface like it's it's not worth it at all. Yeah, this thing has ridiculous hitbox. It really does. Why did I turn up the blood? Uh, I, I, yeah, uh, just for screenshots of in-game gameplay. I know, if it was any other bugs, like it was whatever, like small deterrent, I'd probably use the uncapped frame rate, but running in place when you like get an uneven surface, you know how often you'll die from that? <laughs> All the time. Uh, yeah, you don't have the, well, what do you have the frame rate capped at? for Feeks, or maybe they fixed it. I mean, I used it a year ago. Maybe they actually took the time to get rid of that. Then it might be worth it. I'm told it really only happens though if your PC can push it to like 120 FPS, so. Yeah, I, yeah, the blood for me is just because I'll, I'll, I'll have a really cool in-game screenshot that I want to use for a thumbnail like a crit or something, and then there's just blood everywhere, and it just ruins it. Uh, no, you don't get the boss soul, Rui. You get you get souls, though. Like, you get, like, souls to level up with, but you don't get the boss soul if the host beat it and you're the phantom. You have to beat your own boss. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Chase rules! No! Chase dead. So 
So sad. Most screenshots are animated. I, I it's like an in between for me. If I find a character that suits the build I'm using, I'll I'll do it. Or a really good image for what I'm talking about. But oh, they're in the fog wall. Yeah, I mean I don't mind the blood soaked armor, but like you know when you actually like land a hit or like a critical attack, it like spurts out ridiculously on the screen. You don't notice it too much until you freeze frame it and try to take a picture, then you're like, oh, this is ruining, like, you can't see my face or anything. Yeah, oh, they were by the boss. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, see, Dark Souls 3 didn't actually have, like, uh, the weapon uh, degradation issue with the uncapped frame rate. But it had the running in place one, so I mean... <laughs> I'd rather my weapons break faster, quite honestly. But it is what it is. Ah, uh, I forget the exact number. Maybe, maybe seventy. I don't know the percentage that the summons get. I honestly have not been like someone summoned in this game a lot, which is funny, because <laughs> like I did a playthrough, right? I've done a, a few playthroughs, but I never really pay attention. Oops, what the fuck? I was walking. How did I do that? You can't parry this. <laughs> well, you probably could, but... Oh, shit, the shield use. Wait. Ah! Give it to me! No, he died before he fell. God damn it. Yeah, I, if, if that's another thing they get rid of in Elden Ring, that would be a good change. No one cares about weapon, like, <laughs> durability. I have nothing to break in Dark Souls 3, except for maybe, like, the Moonlight Greatsword or something if you're hosting with it, but... Uh, should I do a Fling Ring setup with a build? It is really good, honestly. Uh, it's one of the highest DPSs you can do. Well, that and Dark Moonblade, like, they're, they're pretty even. If you have like 40 faith, six, I mean 60 faith, 40 dex, and cell swords, those are going to hurt a lot. But alternatively, if you have like 80 dex, flin ring, it also hurts a lot. <laughs> oh, I got to change my name to the Tarnist. Shit, that was a good name change. Oh, what's up, uh, Venom? I've been good, man. Just doing some invasions. 530 AR scimitar. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. It's <laughs> pretty crazy. Uh, you have advice for building a character? Uh, yeah, if, if it's... It, oh my god. <laughs> so many fall balls. Um, are, are you making like your first PvP character or just going through the game, Rui? Or just in general? Because uh, honestly, like the easiest thing to do for like class building is choose a knight. It can become most builds after with the reallocation. Like where you can change your stats later on. Uh, level health to about like 20, 25. All, all the boss fights will become a little bit easier if you have a health pool to learn them right. And yeah, choose strength or dex as a starting build, I would say. Most of the weapons you find, you're going to have a good time with, with either. Oh, really? <laughs> Muhammad? That's funny. That's, I mean, hey. We're all excited for Elden Ring. That's fair. We got, what does my t title say? 214 days. <laughs> Every time I stream, I Google how many days until January 21st. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, Cell Swords, you know, Cell Swords Dex build would be great for playing through the game. You learn the PV and punish it well. Claymore, great for hyper armoring. Uh, hyper armoring through like the the annoying PvE parts. Oh, this is a strange invasion spot at this level. That's interesting. This is like a level 20 area. <laughs> I guess they're on New Game Plus. Cool. Edward, I just heard you. I thought. Quality is good, but I, I'd say like for a first playthrough, it's hard for people to understand like how to level up the order of their build for quality, right? Quality is a lot more investment. 
It'd be better to go like strength of X at the beginning and then reallocate if you wanted to try quality. Did he go to the bonfire? Ah, okay. I see, I see. Can you not? I swear I've done this. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay I swear I've done this shortcut before. Oh my god. Why do you look like you're still so level 20? Hmm. Maybe not. What pants are those? I actually don't even know what the pants are. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a completed quality build, definitely. I just think like playing through when you have to level up like certain amounts at a time, that it's easier to go strength dex, like one of the two, and then you can reallocate when you have more stat investment for quality. Cause quality at low level is kind of sucky. Like until like level 90, quality doesn't work well. I find anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's some people that love low endurance. Uh, I'd say the lower endurance you have, the less aggressive you can play, which is probably why I love such a big stamina in the pool. Damn it! <laughs> God damn it. But I'm keeping this helmet on until Elden Ring. It's like, it's, it's lore appropriate, you know? It looks so similar to the helm. My favorite build? I get asked this somewhat. A, a good amount? Mm. I, I guess I usually say quality because it has some of my favorite weapons. Doesn't mean it's the best build. But I think it's the most fun. And then, like, for criticals, like, parries, backstabs, chaos wins. So, like, if I just want to fish and kill people, I want a chaos build. Uh, strength has, like, all the, the tankiness for taking on four people at once and surviving, you know? Like, it's, its physical defense is pretty insane. So, strength build for invasions overall, I think. And then dex is great for 1v1s. Dex is also good for invasions. Like, it, like honestly, as long as you make the build well, it's pretty good. It's so hard to choose a favorite build. I don't use Chaos that much though, so that says something. But it's cause it's... It's just basically all the same weapons as like Dex, but Chaos infused mostly, and then... They just do ridiculous crit damage, so... I crit a lot. I feel like invasions last longer if I'm not using a Chaos build. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. 18 strength if I'm going pure dex. Honestly, I tried out 25 strength, 40 dex recently. Uh, and it was really good for quality weapons. Like, I could keep the Ring Knight Spear on me. I could keep the Pontiff Knight Curve Sword, Gale's Great Sword. Because when you two-hand it, you get all the bonuses. So it's like you have a quality build, but you also get the really good dex scaling damage. So it worked well, too. I cannot lie. Can you see the armor setup? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just build mask and then all gun deers for poise. What the? I just realized that I'm running through the world, but I don't know where they are. I do not. Yeah. Yeah, having a decent amount of strength and then two-handing, it just boosts it so much. For certain weapons, anyway. Not really like straight swords and stuff, but great swords, uh, spears. They, they benefit a lot. Yeah, Unikiri is very good too. You just have to get used to when to use the weapon art. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> what weapons require? It's not the requirement. It's that uh, when you two-hand a weapon, right? Like, let's say I have 40 strength right now. When I two-hand a weapon, you'll notice my damage will go up from 510, right? To 546. Because when I'm two-handing a weapon, it gives me 1.5 times the strength added. So it's like, right now when I'm two-handing this, it's like I have 60 strength. If that makes sense. So then my damage gets boosted to 546 because it's getting the second hand bonus. So when you have 25 strength and you two hand it, you're, you're pretty much hitting 40 strength. So that's a soft cap. 
which means that your points are well invested and everything after that will give you minimal returns for a little bit. So it's really good for uh, dex builds also. I don't know where this man is. Step up. Okay, I don't know where this man is. He is well hidden. Yeah, dude is master of hide and seek. Or he's just like so far in the level and I just didn't walk far enough, but that's a pretty big area. <laughs> Sometimes you won't find them. Yeah, different movesets also take into account. So like when you see different damage types, like let's see this, the Claymore, it has standard damage, right? That's most of its movesets, but then it's R2 or thrust damage. So if you look at the absorption on the right right there, you'll see that there's physical, that's just the standard, like the top one is physical, and thrust, and they have different absorption amounts depending on your armor. So some attacks will do more damage to people than others also. Oh yeah, this coffee's freezing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I actually always forget about the fume. <laughs> I, I definitely will throw it on a build soon instead of like this y or something. I forget entirely about that weapon a lot. Uh, yeah, triple damage types are good the lower level you are. The higher level you go, stats like stamina, strength, uh, int and faith will boost your absorption to lightning, magic, and the elements. So the higher level you are, the less elemental damage tends to do. So Drake Blood's a really good low level. At really high level, I would say it's not as damaging as other great swords. What do we got going on here? Nothing. <laughs> we got nothing going on here. Where are you? Um, I would say for the, the strength class, ones that you should like learn the spacing and use on is like a great sword, a straight sword, uh, a spear, and let me just look at my inventory. Great sword, straight sword, spear. That that'll cover a lot of what you need. The great sword has the hyper armor and it's kind of fast, so you won't find it super slow. The straight sword is for quick damage that you need to get in, and the spear has the range. Like those three type of weapons, if you get good at them, the the rest will come kind of easier. Claymore. Claymore is always good. It's a comfy, like, greatsword. Has hyper armor, so you can swing through attacks. It's good. Foul tarnished. Yo, I'm playing at being the worst hide-and-go-seek player in all the land. That's what I'm playing at right now. I haven't found a host in three invasions. Where are they? <laughs> Where are they all? Yeah, that's basically what I do, Daniel. I think I do 26. But like, yeah, 26, 27, whatever you prefer. In the cave? Uh, all the way to the beginning? Oh, I guess. I'll commit to it though, because I haven't found anybody. Uh, true. I mean, this thing is fun as hell today. It's been working ridiculously well. I don't know why, but it has. We'll go do some more of the bonk stick. I, yeah, uh, the good endurance points are like 19, I think 22, 26. Like the ones that I like, <laughs> 30, 34. Those are the chase preferences though. It's true, I didn't check up in the sky. They could be up there. They could be anywhere. Pot boy coming into shall rise. I see you too watch the Vati video. Pot boy covenant shall rise. I wonder how many people are actually going to use that so much, though. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know where you are. <laughs> okay. I can't find him. <laughs> oh, 
where the hell is everyone? <laughs> that's three in a row. Well, actually, two of them people fog old me, so that doesn't count. But still, <laughs> that's a lot of not finding people. <laughs> so many new players with their damn branches. <laughs> gank me. <laughs> Just gank me instead. Please. Please. Oh, Lucille, yeah. The Wrath of Lucille. When you first said that, I thought of Drasil from Beyblade. And you hit like a core memory for me. I forgot about that show. For a while. Oh, I saw our brother. And he's got a cool team going on. Oh, hello. Hang on, let me actually hit record here. And what are we going in with? Claymore? Or I've been using all that spear maybe. We could try out a spear. What, Aldrich? Oh, oh, unlock some of them. Sometimes that scares me. Hello, brother. Hello. How have you been? <laughs> Dishonest bombs. Actually, I need more FP. Yeah. Let me get in on this FP here. Hello. Whoa. My voice echoed so much from that hello. Did you, did you hear that? Was that extra loud for everybody else watching the stream? What the hell did I do? <laughs> I hit a really weird... What the hell did I do? <laughs> My room just like caused the biggest echo right there. That was so weird. I'm coming, I'm coming, sorry. I was I was very distraught at what I just did. It really threw me off. <laughs> Interesting choice. Is that power within? I think it is. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna get on the great swords here. We're all using great swords. I want great swords. Whoa. I'm just like picking and choosing damage to do. This is kind of like a, a free for all, honestly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> good job, Aldrich. Oh, good gun to your charge. Yikes. <laughs> he ran out of stamina. I thought I'd get behind it. I didn't. Aww. Aww. Dishonest roll attack. Who roll attacks with the claymore, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> you You crazy, Willy. You crazy. I leave him to you, Aldriches. There you go. <laughs> Rude. Don't poop on him. I like him. Very fun fight, though. <laughs> this is like an older just... <laughs> GG, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect to invade you guys. Wex does be taking me everywhere. Yeah, when people like parry spam, they get punished for it a lot usually. Like you want to just learn what you can and can't parry and like opportune moments to do it. I wouldn't say just trying to parry all the time is the best way to play. Definitely not the most fun. <laughs> just when you can, you know, pull it out. Yeah, and the tough thing about parrying and why, like I do it when I'm sure I'll do it. Yeah, uh, the connections in Dark Souls are peer-to-peer, -peer, so it's like, even when, let's say you know the timing perfectly on a sword, right? You then have to factor in the ping you have with the player you're fighting, <laughs> and that's where you'll miss parries a lot of the time. So it's like, unless you feel like there's a good connection, you can't really react parry. Uh, you can usually parry spam of light weapons on a good connection, but not on a bad one, so it's... You can, you can parry two hand exiles R1, yeah. You, you can't parry, it's like R2 though. Yeah, latency does play a huge role in whether you get parries or not. So you gotta, you gotta like learn which players to use it against and which ones to not. <laughs> wizard! Dishonest kitty wizard! <laughs> ha ha! Get your pews out of here. Nobody loved you. That's why you're naked. 
trying to gather my attention, are you, wizard? Well, hang on a second, I want to make sure I'm recording. I wasn't. <laughs> I thought so. Alright, I'm here. I'm here for the fight, Jiraiya. I don't know what that guy's name could possibly be, though, now that I say that. What is your name, dude? Kind of looks like Jiraiya. I don't think it is, though. Whoa! Surprise! <laughs> I love the... I love the... You know what? Blues are kind of cute sometimes. The range they keep is very cute. <laughs> your enemy wizard. A wall! You have found your natural enemy. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Jesus. Oh my god, I found my natural enemy. A wizard. <laughs> that did immense damage. Oh my god. This is a good place to fight the wizard, actually. I got Jasira. You need to die, kitty, and you need to die now. There we go. There's all my trouble gone with the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the roll. Oh, ah, ah. Ah, let me sing my song in peace. Rude. Okay. I'll take that. Good trade. You hurt a lot, actually. Oh, you're overleveled. Okay. I didn't notice that. Your damage is immense. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that he waited to see how it would turn out. He's like, yep, that's an ult F4. <laughs> oh my god, Chaotica, dude. Oh, Elden Ring. Bit a bit, but I'm still super glad I started watching your stuff and got into Souls PvP. You've been here for a long time, my man. It is true. I thank you so much, man. Are you also going to be playing Elden Ring? Probably, because why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> what other games could you really be playing? But I, I thank you so much, man. All the battles have been awesome, too. Oh, H-E-L-D-E-N-R-I-N-G. Been a bit, but I'm still super glad I started watching your stuff and got into Souls PvP. The amount of enjoyment I've got out of yeah, these games, games are is insane, immense. Honestly. Thanks for all the great times. I don't think there's many other games I could sink this much time into. It's, cr it's it's really awesome. People really gotta give it a chance, the ones that like hate PvP in these games. It's like, man. Like, I, I know some people complain, they're like, I want only, uh, like, selectable invasions. It's like, well, you're getting invaded by a dark spirit. Why would you choose that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it's not, it's not, a, like, you have to get invaded. It's part of Dark Souls. And there's like a, a group of people that hate that. It's like, but if they gave it a chance, they would love it. And Dark Souls is the only game that has the invasion mechanic like this. So it's like, all the players who love this mechanic, it's why Dark Souls is so special, you know, compared to all the other RPG games. It's crazy. There's so much to it. Um, I don't know where this guy... Bonfire? Wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly, name invalid. So it's like, ah, like, this sounds out there uninterrupted co op games. The people that play Dark Souls, they just need to understand that invasions are part of it. You get rewards for doing so, it's tied to the lore, there's covenants, different areas that have different covenant invaders. Like, it's part of Dark Souls, it's like a core part of it. <laughs> are you pre ordering Elden Ring? I probably would be, yes. <laughs> Exactly, what else am I playing? <laughs> of course I'm pre-ordering Elden Ring. <laughs> Do I get weapon bonuses like in Demon's Souls? <laughs> That's a real question. 
Yeah, exactly. And then, and then the excuse for it is, I want a co-op. It's like, yes, but that kind of makes Dark Souls pretty easy. <laughs> Especially if you have a phantom that just flings vestige at everything. Like, you're not learning the game at all. I love when people co-op, but, like, you're going to get invaded. It's part of it. And it's just a game anyway. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? People take it too seriously. Hello there, new player. You're a liar. You have the Madeira Katana. How? You're not a new player. <laughs> I like your outfit though, it's very cute. It's very awesome. Oh. Oh, he cheating. <laughs> oh, he cheating, cheating. <laughs> God damn it. That's when I said there were no cheaters. <laughs> Uh, I got I just want to see something. Yo, these people get by my anti-cheat pretty well, though. Like, they must just somehow boost their absorption. Because Blue Sentinel has no idea this guy's cheating. Really has no idea. But I know he's cheating. <laughs> you know? Hello? I mean, I'll still fight you. Because, I mean, I'm kind of afraid to get hit, though. If that's your absorption, what's your damage? It'll be like two shot. Unless you're going for like a mini boss type thing here, maybe. I don't know, honestly. I don't think so, though. How much health does he have? I did like 1200 to him so far, so it's like. Is that a murky? <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, this will take forever. Oh my god, my damage. Oh my god, his damage. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, buddy. I mean, if you're gonna cheat, you should make it subtle. Don't, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hold up, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, dude. You crazy. You crazy. <laughs> what does your greatsword do? Oh my, I think he upped it further. <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly, this is a death because, like, there's no way to beat it, really, obviously. <laughs> I could try, but. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I could even do in this situation to make this a little bit easier, but honestly, I don't see it going well. His regen is also immense. I, I haven't really noticed it, but he's got some some interesting regen going on there. What is the block doing for you? I'm trying to figure this out. That's my only hope, really. This is fucking... <laughs> oh. Jesus, that's so damaging. <laughs> Holy. Oh my god. Is it getting stronger? I feel like it is. I feel like the murky's getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> well, that's an insta-death. Oh, you're too sucky at parrying. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. I'm scared for him. It, it wouldn't even kill him, I'd run out of stamina. There'd be no point. <laughs> Nothing will kill this guy. I mean, even if I did get close, he's just gonna heal himself, probably, but I do wanna see how much damage I can do in the meantime. 
Play around it as this. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. Hey! Okay, now he's just straight up animation, like, stopping. For you. Really? You <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought at least he'd like, you know, if I beat him with his cheats, he'd die. <laughs> but he really divine blessing. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'm like not even mad. I'm, I'm just more of wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. I did, Dave, but that guy's absorption was nonsense compared. <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> oh god. That was funny, though. <laughs> that was definitely. Wait, wait. Why is my R2 not working? Hang on. Sir? Okay, if I turn off my mouse, will I be able to R2? He ruined my controller too. There we go. Okay. I'm joking. He didn't do that. <laughs> he just had that. He had that Extendo gaming chair, you know, like the, the one that lays back and reclines. I need to get one of those. Maybe Q. W what's my wedding gift? <laughs> Depends on what you're gonna give me. <laughs> also, the cheeky emote's funny. Uh, well, you don't get banned until Tuesday for uh, cheating on the game. Every Tuesday, there's like a ban wave, so you'll come across cheaters. Whoa! Oh shit, I came at a bad time. There's four people here. This poor red. <laughs> it's, it's just... what? I uh, no, I have the the seek back on my streams off because it requires people that have a higher download speed to watch the 1440p stream because it has to load the end. <laughs> okay, sorry Kermit, the entire stream, but the vibe will appear after the stream. Yo, Soul Level 90 is doing good work, man. He's doing God's work. But I gotta go. <laughs> Love you though, man. This damn Aldrich and <laughs> this poop. <laughs> yeah, that was way too many people. <laughs> uh, well, in the in in the PC version of Dark Souls, there's a uh, there's a way to unlock the summon limit that gets you more invaders. You don't see it too often, but people do it. Uh, I stream on low. You can't stream uh, in 1440p on the ultra low latency setting, sadly. Or I would. Yeah, most, well, some people don't. There's been like streamers that have used it for events and stuff, you know. But I get you, I get you. Sometimes they do that and cheat. That viewer doesn't though. They just survive. Yeah, like me and Lost did that once for you guys, right? Where we just hosted for all of you guys to come in. <laughs> if someone dies, like your teammate, five invaders just instantly. Oh, it's it's tough times. But it's funny. Oh yeah, the bonk stick, I forgot. I was using that earlier, let's go. The biggity biggity bonk. Bonk the songs. Ready player one. Is that Dusk? Oh wait, that's ready player one and that's Mr. Indeed. Oh God, <laughs> fire. What's with the murkies? They're out in a bunch today. Hopefully this one's not cheating. Uh, excuse me. As long as this one has normal damage, I'm not that opposed. But if it has that other guy's damage, I'm running for me life. Bump. I hit ready player one with that. 
Uh -huh. That's right. This is where I make my bonk stand. This is that the same wizard from earlier? No, I'm out in the open. <laughs> no. How did you? Oh, you went around. I see. You sneaky! You went around! <laughs> Vestige man, I see. No. I will kill you again, naked wizard. Those robes shall- That was the dumbest decision I've ever seen. <laughs> that wasn't the play. <laughs> Filthy stinking wizard. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Red. I didn't think you'd be chaos vestiging the wall. Get a fisting. <laughs> I'm so sorry, teammate. <laughs> that wizard, though. <laughs> oh my god. That wizard kills me. I've seen it three times now. Like, what are the odds that the same blue gets into the world that I invade three times in one stream? Do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> That's like some luck right there. It's actually kind of nutty. The Wizards versus Wooden Club. What are the odds? Mad Crow. Oh god. I kind of thought it said Mad Cow. I don't know why. We're going bonking. This stream basically turned into me using this club. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's been fun. sword is that? Is that the Astora straight sword? That is. Look at me knowing my swords. Here, you can have my embers. You look like you're honest or cosplaying or something. We can have a fight like this. No. Probably legitimately AFK. Huh? Let's test his bravery. Oh. Hello, sir. We, we are going to fight now, yes. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, he's bowing with an arrow in his chest. I feel so much worse about myself. <laughs> Imagine bowing. What a kind heart. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a lad. <laughs> Bonk stick, holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty good sometimes. <laughs> the bonking. It's good. It, what makes it so good is instead of doing the R1, R1 true combo, if you just like R1 and then walk forward like a mini step and R1, you know, just constantly like that, you can like keep it going if they don't roll. Or you can sometimes roll catch them if they're too slow on their roll. And then you can get the true combo one afterwards. So it's like you get an R1 into R1, R1 if they if they aren't quick enough with the roll. It's like a mix-up game. Especially since it looks so similar. Oh yeah, Mir did make that bonk sound effect, right? <laughs> bonk. Bonk. It, it is really good at roll catching though, yes. This thing is good for that. It does sound fun. I heard it. It's hilarious. Uh, if I hear him up top, right? I think. Tiberius. Tiberius. I 
I don't get many bow opportunities. Oh. Ha! How absolute dare you fake me out? <laughs> that was rude. Okay, I'm over here now, though, buddy. Gotta get some real firebombs going here. I see he's gathered. He doesn't want to let me fire my arrow. <laughs> Too bad. I'll make it happen. <laughs> Said I'm a bowman. Sure you want to follow me? Oh, I thought I let it go. <laughs> Don't die to rope firebombs. I cut that one close. You are way too brave, sir. How are you not healed yet? <laughs> You're ridiculous. What the heck? That guy's crazy. <laughs> He's like, no, I will murder the bowman. <laughs> Rope firebombs can be good sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I love this bow, though. Sometimes it's funny. <laughs> he really didn't have fear. He just had to roll forward in L1. I was going to just parry him, but I was like, you know, I want to see how this plays out if I actually just stick to the bow. <laughs> yeah, they work sometimes. If you use the weapon art, it's better for sure. It has a bigger hitbox. Maybe true. Maybe he wanted an honor fight with Bowman. That's that's true. I guess he did it. <clears throat> there is no honor in Dark Souls. I'm literally pillaging your world. You know, I'm literally pillaging you. <laughs> you don't need to honor me. <laughs> Yeah, now now Zomi, Nozomi, let's go. I'm watching you, Nozomi. I only have so many lightning bundles, so I gotta you know pay attention here. But you're scary with. <laughs> Aww, you almost ruined it. <laughs> almost. Dishonest. <laughs> I didn't know that he needed to apply tears, so I might not have backstabbed him like that had I known. I would have been a little kinder. Goddamn hackers. Sometimes. Well, we came across one today. I'd say that's pretty good ratio, you know? That's not so bad. I've been streaming for almost four hours. I feel like if it was, uh... Oh. I, those axes kind of scared me. I can't deny. I would've went for the butt butt. I would've went for the butt butt. But they scared me. Oh. <laughs> Get some perps in here. Everyone report casino. Yeah, casino's a cheater. Always trying to get me to spin the wheel. Listen, I'm not a betting man. I'm really not. I, why? I can, I can see where it's fun for some people though, I suppose. I just like a guaranteed thing. Oh man, thank God I didn't R1 again. That would have guard her up well. Oh my god, there's so many claymores in here. <laughs> Too many claymores in here. <laughs> One's got Dark Moon Blade. Wait, that's not even a claymore. Oh, that looked fancy, but I didn't get it. Aha! <laughs> that looks so weird. That looked ridiculous. Oh. Oh, oh no. I thought you'd go for the hit. <laughs> Spy Hander can actually be a good mix up, too. I don't use this enough. Oh shit. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, <laughs> you staggered it well. I give you that. <laughs> Fun fight, though. Amanda! Fun fight. My other favorite poise outfit. The Black Iron. Quite beautiful, quite beautiful. Quite beautiful indeed. Yeah, sometimes the the amount of time for the blessing to go off is sad. That happens to me a lot, actually. What is up, Mark? How goes your day, man? We'll do a few more here. Kind of need food. <laughs> and to work my fat ass out. Yeah, we have a good connection. <laughs> I saw... Honestly, on a good connection, you can definitely roll away from Gundyr and then parry instantly and it works. But most of the time, I don't do it because it doesn't work for me. Yes, the casino bots go down. <laughs> they don't deserve to live. That was weird looking. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> That's the second spawn in that I've gotten where people are just attacking the air. Ba-da-bum, ba-da-bum-bum. Ba -da -bum -bum. Uh, well, you know, you know what time it is. We must continue the bonkening, Johnny. Aw. What kind of dishonest no backstab was that? Yeah, bunk. What? This guy is so wholesome. This is a lesson. Always check the connection before you do anything. <laughs> I couldn't bury him. <laughs> okay. Learn from my mistakes, boys. Definitely learn from my mistakes. <laughs> that was quite the damage. Grand Kurt, yeah, I just kind of want to see. Uh. <laughs> that one hurt a lot. That one hurt. Ah, it's still. Oh, it started on the 15th, right? Asenil? Is that what people told me? I think. Uh. Why? I, I mean, I parry and then I open my menu to equip. The weapon. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Like, uh, the way I parry usually on a strength build, because I don't like to have a Cestus or anything in my offhand. That way I can use weapon arts whenever I want. So, like, if I switch a weapon, you know, I can use weapon art. You can't do that if you have uh, something in your offhand that doesn't have a weapon art ability. So, on my strength build, I, I remove my main weapon to parry. Really, only the strength build. I don't do it on my decks or quality as much. So... I go in my inventory, like, start, X, remove the weapon, and then I'm able to parry. And then, when I get the parry, I have to equip a weapon to get the riposte. So. That's just how I do it on the strength. I saw, dude. Wait, yeah, it came out yesterday, or the day before. I saw. The Boruto anime has been actually adding good fight scenes. Better than the manga. They added more to it. It's been good. Hello. What's up? Guy hiding as a statue. I definitely don't see you. Wizard! <laughs> Filthy stinking wizard! I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with a wizard. Just walk at him menacingly until he does something. <laughs> That's right, wizard. I am playing your game. <laughs> Get punched to death. I uh, well, if you're on a controller, like the way that I remove my weapon, I know it's uh, it, it sounds difficult, but I I just kind of like slide my thumb in a way that works. Same with a lot of my bundle swaps and stuff. So like, I hit start, then the base of my thumb hits X, and then the middle of my thumb hits square, and then the tip of my thumb hits start again. So it's like a little wave. So that's why it looks like I do it so fast. Same with like when I bundle a weapon and I parry, right? I'll parry, 
and then I'll do this and I'll slide. Oh, I can't bundle that. <laughs> well, you, you get what I mean though. Like I'll, I'll swap my weapon and then I'll put one on and then I'll slide my finger down and I bundle it. Might be different on Xbox. I'm on a PlayStation controller, so. It's like a little poof. Ah, uh, yeah, when I'm, if I'm ever sprinting and you see me move the camera, I have to. But I don't play like that normally. I just move my fingers around. <clears throat> what is this? Jakey of Bakey. Um, well, you know, you may as well more use more bonk. I see no downside here. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I'll set that up for the next stream, actually. If you guys like seeing the controller in the bottom right corner, like the the overlay. I just have to reconnect it to the website. Down, here we go. Yeah, you like it? Okay, nice. It, it, like, I won't put it in the highlight videos just because it kind of takes away from the fights, but for the streams, yeah, I don't mind at all. I shall set that up then. Hello, Jakey of Bakey. I kind of like his outfit. You know what? As far as cloth goes, I think I, I like Leonard's cloth the most. Oh no, my least favorite type of fight. We're not yet done. So funny though. <laughs> A wall, your natural enemy. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Wait. They won't like me much after this. <laughs> Never mind, they already hate me. They already hate me. It's too, I did too much already. <laughs> okay. I'll do one more. That was so funny. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> use the wall to block my fire? Oh, the absolute audacity of you. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. One more. Hey, man. What's up? Uh, let me just put this on real quick. Bergen truck something. Ah, uh, bonk. We'll finish it with a bonk. 
No, don't leave. I'll gladly walk into your trap. No, <laughs> you coward. <laughs> Cowards. I know, it's like, the, like yeah, I'm definitely going to stand where you're just throwing a bunch of fire. That's, that's the good play. <laughs> definitely smart. Bro. <laughs> really funny. That would be funny. I mean, there's got to be a way to tell the difference between you manually alt f 4 the game and it crashing, right? Like, you think they'd imp I hope they implement something in Elden Ring. Because, like, I don't care if people quit out on me or whatever. Like, I, I PvP for fun. But what about the players that actually are doing it to get Covenant rewards, you know? Like, you're cheating them out of their shit. Thank you. You are. That's true. You're the one with the D. I pale in comparison. My D falls a little short. <laughs> what are you doing today, bro? What are you up to? Yeah, it can't be that hard to tell the difference, right? Short D? Well, he, I gotta chase it, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this will be the last invasion I'm gonna bonk around. Just for fun. I've been trying to just do that, but people keep quitting out. What are you doing? Oh, <gasps> hang on, hang on, hang on. This could be pure memes. Or just don't load the, the arrow. You know, that's that's cool too. Oh no, I'm in a bad spot. No, no, I'm at least taking out the phantom. Imagine not falling off the cliff. <laughs> How? How dare you, sir? That was the best shot ever. You think you're safe behind cover, weasel? There we go. There we go. That's better. Hello there, sir. You're out of FP. No. <laughs> I want him to R1. Would you? <laughs> what are you doing, silly? You silly goose. Oh, we're in a different zone now. What if I... <laughs> cook, cook. Cool. Cool. Oh, now you are. There's the team. It took you long enough, dude. He was waiting on you. We're going back down, though. Okay. <laughs> Me and you again. <laughs> it's holy. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> that was just amazing. I'm sorry. It was so funny. <laughs> no way. Did the sun bro go home? Why? <laughs> He's taking too much for one day. That was some bullshit for him. He was like, fuck this shit. I'm out. Oh, I'm dead. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, sir, you're the reason I have this curved sword. <laughs> the actual oh god, I'm choking and dying. Oh, we wanted to resummon him, oh, okay. Uh, that was weird, I didn't hit him, but okay. He <laughs> just, just summoned me. I'm tired of climbing that shit. Just bring me back. <laughs> okay. Nothing's gonna be a better end than that. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, here is the build for you guys if you do want to try it out. Uh, I wish I could show you the rings and weapons at the same time, but these are the rings, just so you know. Lloyd, 
or hornet one of those two usually uh life ring ring of favor prisoner's chain and then these are all the weapons and the stats and we go look for someone to give a host to cross platform raid uh where's my mouse there's my mouse who is playing the dankest of souls we have <laughs> Okay, I guess we have Nap. He's actually this is actually really funny, and I, I enjoy this stream so much of his. He's trying to level up only using PvP, right? But he's also uh, using a mod that randomizes the weapons that he gets, and he has to use them until he gets a kill, basically. So right now he's got a dagger that's unupgraded by the looks of it, and a shitty shield, <laughs> and his uh, rants are pretty hilarious. It's pretty fun to watch. So if you want to go watch some more PvP, he's doing that. It's pretty funny. I will see you guys all next stream. I think I'll do so level 60 if you guys want to see it. That's what you asked for. So I'll try to think up a build that I haven't used that much. And I will see you guys next stream. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye.